Seem like it's working now. Greatest nigga of all time. The note. Heist man Defoe. Happy Friday, everybody. Starting the night off with the lag. Prem's in the building. What's up, man? What up, what up, nigga? also have the illustrious Charlene Defoe in the building. Everybody here, man. The white folks, the gangsters, and the thugs in the building, man. You know it wouldn't be right without the lag gang. Hashtag. Hashtag lag gang for life, man. Over we lagging, head. but we bagging this bitch. What's up? Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Uh-oh. <laughs> she over there hitting buttons. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Pre voice super deep. We over there hitting the leg yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. For 30 years. For 30 years. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Talk that talk. Prem's still in the building. Charlene in the building. We got Six GMTA, Kill Dozer. We got everybody in the building, man. How y'all doing tonight? Take these damn glasses off. Why you got them on? I had them on because I was trying to um block the sun from my eye. I was not feeling cool. I was not feeling cool. Um, <laughs> lag game for life. Yes, it is. Hey, man, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, man. We got to get into it, man. I think I thrown off early, man, because of the lag. It's Halloween time, man. My favorite season. <laughs> mm, hold on. Let's get to the theme song, man. Samurai. Right. Samurai. Sansa. San, San, all kind of crazy. I can't Samurai read. Samurai Sansa. the public schools, man. Let's get into the theme song. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you're not going to put that on with Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. <laughs> that shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. That shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. Ooh. By the way, the boy go by heist, man. I don't strike twice. Call the boy grease lightning. In the club fighting. Competing with the dykes in. Drinking straight liquor. No straw, no ice in. Woo-hoo. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Episode 181. Man, today is Friday, October the 8th, 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 8th. 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 I, I, I buy weed, <laughs> I, I be getting weed, man, that's why I say 8th, speaking of weed, Primezilla, what's on the menu tonight? Nigga, what's on the menu tonight is this fresh batch of wasabi that I got, wasabi? wasabi. That sounds so hot, so, so you remember a couple weeks ago I had a pack called Zoe. Yeah. It was Z-O-Y. Kind of like a pun on soy sauce. And then last week I had a Zushi pack. Sushi? It was sushi with a Z. Oh. Remember that? So I don't want no weed to do all that, man. I want my weed to do So this week yes, I got a pack yeah. called Wasabi. <laughs> it's a I green like pack. It. It's a play on the word Wasabi. And it's got a good smoke to it. It is actually uh, the fuck was it? a mix between Skittles and Cushman's. 
Oh shit. Hey, thank you, Six. Six is donated 420, man. Hey, right, oh. on, right during the weed conversation. Hey, Six. That was like, hey, perfect. That was perfect you know what timing. happens. Hey, you know what happens? Um, hold on, I gotta find the shit because it's, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. Damn. I gotta do I find, remember it? Um, yes, Six. Thank you for donating, man. You become a super duper, a super -duper in the galactic. Lord, Lord High, High Priestess, Priestess, Grand Chancellor, Grand Chancellor Chief, Chief Wizard, Wizard, King Imperial, Imperial Captain, Captain Shizzy Sh of the World. Oh. Hey, man. Thank you, Six. Hey, Six, you also get a Cosby cup, man. You got to let us know what, what, what you want. I was, I was just going to ask you if there's Cosby cups. So you got to pick a cup, Six. <laughs> You want the red cup, the, the this cup, that cup, this cup. You got all kind of cups to pick for, man. You get a prize. What's inside? Because you're drinking with Cosby. Let us know in the chat, six. What's the, what Cosby cup do you want, brother? Why you do that? I'm gonna show the weed I got. I got some NFD, NFDTS, nigga from down the street. Where? Man. Yeah. Here. yeah, man. My. Uh. Uh, my weed license ain't working right no more, so I got my weed in the bag. <laughs> no, your license is fine. The prescription's out. The prescription out. I'm getting too much. Oh, Six want the red cup. Red cup. Uh-oh, we'll see what, we'll see what Six is getting inside the red cup. Uh-oh, the red cup is. Oh, you get, um, Chloe, not Chloe Kardashian. Oh. The one who dressed up like Chloe Kardashian. Tori. Tori Spelling. Spelling. That's what's inside your cup, man. <laughs> Remember she got that. Remember she got that face change. It's it's been a while, man. Yeah. This is somebody got a Cosby cup, man. That's what you get inside your Cosby cup. That's still a good one, though. It's, it's, it's better than some of the other ones, boy. Glad you picked number three, four, or five. Hey, she, she just had a remodel. That's a so, brand new bitch. Hey, big shout out to Six, she, man. She low mileage. She's remodeled. Six. So she remodeled. Yeah, she got a new engine. She got a new engine. Yeah, new transmission. Yeah, man. So I got I got NFDTS man I got a nigga from down the street. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Say that's rare rare for the heist man. You don't feel fancy. Oh, y'all don't feel fancy. Mm -mm. Y'all wild man. Remember remember him a few years back before he met me. <laughs> ah! Oh! Hey man. Nicks, in the days of the Knicks. Man, just get into the birthdays <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Man, guess whose birthday it is today? Nigga, whose birthday is it today? Bruno Mars. I love Bruno Mars. B Bruno Pluto. That's what he look like. He look like Pluto. He don't look like Mars. Look like you know that one of our children used to look like him when he was chubby. Elijah. Yep. He look like Rico. His name should be Rico. Maybe he got caught with that coke inside of the um, airport. No, I forgot about that, but I don't doubt it. Yeah, he got caught with some coke. He yeah, was I don't doubt Sniffing little lines. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. It's like, like he... James Brown. Yeah. Yeah, he got some dope music, though. He got great music, and he got the moves. He just, he commands the stage. Motherfucker said, I'm a dangerous man with, my, with some money in my pocket. Keep up. I swear he's today's James Brown. He's James Brown, man. Fuck your birthday, Bruno Mars. We're good. How are you... Samurai, well, K Maddie. It's K Maddie. It's K. We know it's you. It's Carl Mass. We know it's you. It's K Maddie in the building, though. Yeah, That's what's up, man. Costume on today. Right, he got a samurai on. It's, it's Halloween time, man. You can be who you want. Hey, man, guess who else's birthday it is? Who else's birthday oh, is it, man? It's that girl who made all that money on OnlyFans. Um, Bella Stone? Bella Random Bella. girl number 16. Yeah, why did I do that? <laughs> you watch OnlyFans. I've been keeping up with OnlyFans. I've never even opened Damn. that website. It's her birthday. If I open that website, I'm going to put something weird on there so I can make me some money. Put that weird on there. I'm gonna put, I know that's right. I'm going to have feet with whipped cream and some honey on them. These toes are going to make me some money. You let me get in there on OnlyFans. Feet with whipped cream. Yeah, because I would feel bad if my kids found pictures of my coochie or my titties or something. I don't give a shit who looks on my feet. I really don't. If some somebody wants to masturbate my feet, feel free. I just need What's some up, money Jason for Michael? This is uh, what up, or you can't be Jason yeah. Michael Freddy. You gotta be every damn bad guy. You gonna be Jason Michael Myers. Jason Michael, is that your real name? Jason Michael Kruger. Are you my relative? My name's Charlie. Well, it's Charlie and Michelle, but it's says Charlie Michael. Jason Michael. It's it's the perfect name for Halloween. Fuck your birthday. Um, hey, Nick Cannon birthday. Fuck your birthday. 
The cannon got that super semen. <laughs> yes, he does. Hey, what? Does, is he like the worst dresser ever? Have y'all noticed that? Ooh, Nick Cannon. Yes. He make his own style. The, I mean, when he dress up, mm-hmm. he shot. But it's, it's hit or miss. that turban. It's hit or miss. I'm not talking about the turban. That's his real name. You see him like at the BET Awards? No. I ain't, see, I ain't watching BET. I ain't watched BET in so long. Have you noticed? Ain't no BET. He's not looking a mess quite often. You know they had Rap City on the other day. I heard that was back. What? Rap City? Yeah. Rap City, bitch. Rap, Rap City, bitch. It's a hill weirdo. He, he is, Jim. Yeah, he is. He just got into a fight with the damn mom, too. Which one? He got uh, a talk show, too. He just got to uh, do talk show. He got, he got to do that talk show. Mariah. He didn't talk oh, about yeah. Them, he, he didn't talk about them people with the little hats on. I think he gave his kids a, a cell phone she didn't want them to have or something. Nick Cannon, fuck your birthday, Nick. Who else's birthday is today? Matt Damon. Damon. Oh, that's Y'all know Matt Damon? Yes, I do. I call him like Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, like Batman and Robin of Hollywood, yeah? Yes. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you want to see one of their movies. They Batman and Robin. Yes. Remember Johnny Damon? No. Nope. Johnny Damon played oh. for the Boston Red Sox. You probably remember him, Charlene, when he played on... um. Below deck Mediterranean, getting drunk, pissing off the boat. Oh, he's talking about. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's uh, that's Johnny Damon. I'm talking about Matt Damon. Um, yeah, J M. Heist is hilarious, nigga. Oh, you talking about my um, my dog? Hey, can you know dog the bounty hunter is oh, back in the God. game? What he say? I'm black the dog. I had so many comments. I'm black the dog bounty hunter, and I'm looking for you, Brian Laundry. Hey, y'all saw that Yo, video. it was like he didn't even have to um he didn't even have to photoshop the lips. It was like they were perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. It was great. Yo, get off my yeah, lips, man. Y'all can get off my lips. <laughs> Fuck your birthday, Matt Damon. The Mia's <laughs> Awesome. It's the Mia's birthday. Oh, shit. I came to play. Y'all like the Mia's? Because you like you got a lace front on. I I'm coming in the I commend the Miz for his, um, for doing what he said he wanted to do. Yeah, I've been watching. So the, I've been like, watching the Miz for a long time, man. Since like since MTV, the real world. Since the real world. Yeah, and to see where he at now, that nigga on dancing with the scar with the stars. Who can't get on that man? They had Lamar Odom up there drunk. Shit. The Miz got up there. He can do it. He man. can't wrestle no more. I mean, he can wrestle, but. They ain't gonna push him. He still wrestling. He still wrestling. But you know it's all Hollywood. It's to make money for the brand. It bring eyes to the brand. But just think about where we saw him on the real world to where he at now. And he been preaching this stuff about like he one of the ones who did it, yo. He said he was gonna he do it. He did what he was gonna do, man. He was on the real world. Everybody like, man, sit, sit down, man. Sit your ass uh, down. I'm gonna be a wrestler. I, I'm the miss. They, so, so sit down. Now shut up. Oh, he the Miz hell? on wrestling, doing his thing. So big shout out to he the Miz, had, man. Had his own shows on USA. Like the Miz had a pretty dope career, bro. Miserable. He can't complain at all. Nah, especially he ain't supposed to be there. For he, real, he, cause he, he vanilla midget. That's what they call him. Vanilla midget. Yeah. And, and but what he, they call had, him? he developed his character, bro. He got a great character. I love it. When they, when they let him loose, the Miz is dope. I, I like to see the Miz and um. MJF have a damn oh man face like a man. promo off a promo off MJF will win because he more grimier could they let him be on TNT yeah they don't US. they don't restrict what he say yeah MJF is like the greatest heel I ever seen in my life yeah and motherfucker said fuck them kids <laughs> mm. he great man speaking of greatness and speaking of fuck them kids R.L. Stein y'all remember him goosebumps oh, right yeah, I don't never seen this dude's face before. But this is what R.F. Stein looked like. He looked like he writes scary movies or books. I'm sitting here trying to think if I remember what he looks like. You look like R.F. Stein. Supposed I, was, to look. I was not grown, grown, but I was pretty old reading those kids' books. I liked him a lot. He look like. Oh, yeah, that's what he looks like. Yeah, he looked like he both oh, yeah. looked like that. He, he both looked Don't like he look that. He looked like he has like a, a naturally drawing voice. He looked like they forced him to smile right there. <laughs> He do like he got a voice on, um, like, what was that show? What is that movie called? Ferris Bueller? Bueller. Yeah. Bueller. Bueller. 
I go to sleep in his class, man. Then I get mad, each other wake me up. <laughs> like, man, fuck out of here, man. Wake the fuck up. Get out. Go to. You ever fall asleep in class? <laughs> get kicked right I, out. I, I was scared to fall asleep in class. So I was scared to fart in class. <laughs> I feel like my stomach. I might. <laughs> you ever fart in class and scoot your desk so you pretend it was a desk? And my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my stomach be growling. Look, I may or may, I may or may not have done that. <laughs> I've done oh that same shit, like <laughs> moving the chair, like that. Move your chair, nothing, man. It's not me hurting, man. That's what happened last night when you walked past the bed and you tried to put me on the bed, wasn't it? No, man, I came out the shower and my leg, and look, my leg hit he the. He let one rip last night. I swear to God, I don't fart, bro. I don't do that. That's nasty. <laughs> Um, my leg hit the bed and my my leg was wet and it hit the um. Have you ever had your leg and it rubbed? I swear to God. I swear to God, Pre. I don't be I don't randomly fart in front of people, man. That's gross to me. That's a private thing. I I hate when the kids do it. Charlene be trying to get the kids to fart. She be like, "Get out of here." If I, if I fart on you, I'm like, don't say that shit around me, man. I don't want to hear about you farting, I'm going to do it one day. Just no, don't, don't, don't fart around me, man. That's gross. But our, our seven-year-old lets them rip every day. Nasty little girl. The way this ass oh. flapping farts you ever heard. She's so proud of <laughs> Yeah, she is. Man, she, she'll say things like, that one was magnificent. That was a magnificent fart. <laughs> All right, get your ass out of here. Farts cutely. Farts cutely. What's my man named? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase birthday. Birthday's today. What you remember Chevy Chase from the most? From the, the um, Griswolds. From the Griswolds, yeah. Roll him up. Roll him up. That's what he said, boy. That was the funniest part of that movie Roll to me, up. man. Roll him up. He, ro- he was rolling through the hood. <laughs> he, he was oh, in the hood. That was so funny. Roll him up. Roll him up. We That's say my... that everywhere we go now. Yeah, we be in the hood. Anytime, Anytime. we see a sticky situation, roll him up. Roll him up. You got to roll him up. You can't be in the hood like that, man. I, I, hey. I love the hood, <laughs> but look, sometimes... Like it ain't just in the hood. Mm. We get to the country too, too far. Oh, we could be... Yeah. Anything we see that don't look, that looks suspect, roll them up. Yeah, roll especially up. traveling to North Carolina. Sometimes we hitting them little oh spots in God. South Carolina. Oh, roll them yeah. Up. yeah. Look, look too redneckish. <laughs> look too Fuck your birthday, Chevy Chase. Um, He was a three amigo oh, too, wasn't he? <clears throat> I think I only stopped. Yeah, he was. I only stop one time in South Carolina, yo, when we go through South Carolina. You don't stop in Manning? <laughs> That's why I stop at most of the nah, time. Nah, I stop in um, Santee. Oh, okay. And just Where to get something to eat. Lynchville. Shit, Lynchville. Yeah, in South Carolina. Lynchburg. Lynchburg. Every time we pass by there, I make a comment about we ain't stopping. We, hell no. Nah. I'll be looking at the gas tank, too. I'll be looking at Mm-mm. We cannot Mm-mm. stop near Lynchburg. No, it's in the name. Oh, my God. Yeah. Lynchburg. It's just, it's, you know, you just don't go through. first. I'm a traitor. Right, nigga lover, <laughs> Three Amigos. <laughs> hey man, the Three Amigos were the shit, man. Have you seen that movie recently? Since you've been grown? No. Not since I've been grown, but I, I remember. It's been a long time. I remember that movie, and it was great. Yeah, Venom in your you. background. Yeah, that's Venom. I you know, it Venom just came out. I ain't seen that movie. I ain't seen it yet either. I'm, I'm, but I want to go see James Bond first. Nah, I ain't seen no James Bond. I'm gonna wait till Why? they come. I'm gonna wait till it come out. Just like we do everything else. I seen the Black Widow. You seen that? Yeah, I just saw that the other day. That was pretty dope. I can't care. Yeah, it was. It was better than I thought it was. It was late though. That's what I just hated about it. It was late. It could have I mean, been. This movie was supposed to been done years ago. Who else birthday? Like, oh, yeah. Fuck your birthday, Chevy Chase. This chick right here, man. Y'all remember who this chick is? I forgot her name, man. Um, the bitch from Alien. I just see folk your birthday. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. Yeah. You forgot her name? Right. I, I don't know the bitch. She wasn't, a, she wasn't a bad bitch ever uh-huh. in life that I had to say. That's Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. fucking Weaver from Alien. I know that's what I'm saying. She I, was I, in speak. Ghostbusters. I had to put out a, a young bitch. She's 80s babies. I'm 80s babies. She's 80s babies. You don't that's know what like, like, she look like. You are not repping for the 80s. I was born in the early 80s. I was born in 83. You should definitely man. know who Sigourney Weaver is. I know her. I know who know. she is, man. I think Sigourney the truth every time I hear Sigourney Weaver. They do who, have similar names. Who names? Who named that child Sigourney or Sigourney? Her mama. Her mama. mama. Sound like Jim Jacare the Terror. That's <laughs> her mama. <laughs> That's who did it. Her mama. This is what she look like now, man. With the bald head. That's not what she looks like now. I mean, you know. That's 
That's what she looked like. What was that, like Alien 3? Yeah, exactly what it was, Alien 3. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Don't test, don't test my sigourney this nigga. <laughs> don't test my Sigourney. Um, I, she's one of those girls <laughs> that aren't pretty, but she, you know how they say it's a handsome woman? She's a handsome woman. She's no. Like, she's beautiful and a handsome one. I don't she's know no handsome pretty. women. I don't know no handsome women. <laughs> she's got like very even features. I don't know how to explain it. She's attractive in a, in a handsome way. Oh, what's this dude's name? You don't know his name either? You remember him? That's yeah, Jesse Jackson. Him. That's like him and he ran for president, but you're talking He did run for president back that's, in the eighties. That's Jesse Jackson. You I know, I know who that is, man. No, I don't fucking know. Z the Reaper, what's up, pimping? How you, you know, doing tonight, man? Z the Reaper see, I, I, bro, I put a black Reaper. man on T I put a black man on the screen and Z the Reaper pop up in the chat. That's what's up, Z. Um Yeah, I'm, hey, I don't know, man. I think he one of the fakest dudes ever. He talked all that shit about I don't know Obama. Him and um Al Sharpton gonna be running a tight race, boy. Man, Al Sharpton looks so funny since he lost weight. They like, he do look funny. He look like a damn lollipop. They like the last essential niggas that's gonna be in the history books besides Obama. You think about it. When we, when we look at the damn who go who, who left after that? Who's gonna be the next? Who, who the next? Oh, who me, the next me. Of, of, of great Man, they gonna pull up, leader. talk that talk, one forty-five. Oh my and God, um, the Almighty Weed God. Shit, what's up, Nikki J? The Almighty Weed God. Smoke up, man. Um, Freddie Mitch, what's up? Freddie Mitch. Um, he Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, Freddie Mitch just donated. You said you seen the rock rap song? I seen that. I seen that. I did not see it. My future. I didn't listen to it yet, but I seen that the rock had. Was it good up. though? Cause he does, he's such a. Who the rock? Listen, he's so good at everything. Rock was aggressive, spitting big minute. I'm like, it was good, right? You know, I knew you know if he got in the rock situation, it was great. Y'all seen the rock rap song. Oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about that, too. It said, welcome, well, Nicky J. And Freddie Mitch. What's up? Hey, Freddie Mitch, you know what happened, man. Freddie Mitch, when you donate over here, you become. Hold on, I got to find the button again. A super duper intergalactical Lord High Priestess, Grand Chancellor, Chief Wizard, Wizard King Imperial, King Imperial Captain Shiznit of the World. You come all that shit, man. You donate over here, man. Thank you for your donation. And thanks, buddy. Freddie Mitch, you um also get a Cosby Cup, man. You gotta let us know what Cosby Cup do you want? The Red Cup has been picked tonight. You gotta let us know, man. You at the bar and you walk into the bar. Who you see behind the bar? You see Bill Cosby. And you pick one of these drinks, and guess what? You gonna find out what happened, man. After you pick this cup, oh my God, the red cup is out of the game, man. So, hey, Freddie Mitch, let us know what do you want out of your cup? Yeah, Flo <laughs> Flowey Kardashian is off of the stage. <laughs> Flowey Kardashian, fake Chloe. Yeah. Ah. Tori Spelling, fake Chloe. Oh yeah, we, uh, that, that was in the first Cosby <laughs> Cup, man. Tori Spelling, yeah. aka. <laughs> Flowy uh, Kardashian. Flowy Kardashian. She got that um, change. That's been a couple weeks ago, man. Hey, these are gonna be old too, man. So, <laughs> hey, pretty much let us know, man, what you want under your Cosby cup. Um, who who, who who's on the birthdays, right? He said, I don't know. It, it's fair he said the wine real. cup. Nikki, this is the um the black show. He said show. the wine cup. Oh, this is the black show. Yes, this is the black show on the internet, man. We have fun. Yeah, man. Here, man. Everybody, we black as fuck. Um. Well, the wine cup. Who I'm who's in the wine cup? A oh, Charlene White. Yeah, oh! but she blacker than both y'all. The that wine cup. Also be true. Hey, you get a double feature, Freddie Mitch. You get <laughs> that purple drink, the color purple too, AKA. Uh, Why are you looking at me? Why are whoopie, you looking at me? You get whoopie, um, Oprah. You get whoopie, Oprah, man. That's oh, what that's happened. That's why you're looking at me. You might want to take the wine cup, bro. <laughs> they still got them faces, hey, though, I'm man. I was going to say, all you got to do is put a turn around. They're straight. You turn them around. What you be saying? Straight for the stroke. They straight for the stroke, man. Thank you, Freddie Mitch. You enjoy your wine glass full of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, enjoy your wine glass, man. Hey, that oh, raps. I can't holler that to look like that every day. This is why you can't run for president, yo. Because of Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg. Both of them two women will take his whole career down. 
this this right here will kill every campaign we try to run. Every mm-hmm. topic we try to run. What's what's my man named Jesse Jackson? He uh to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> No Jesse Jackson, man, I think he's the fakest dude ever because he was hating on Obama so much. But soon Obama won, what was he doing? Crying and clapping. He's up there crying. Oh my God, he made it, y'all. He was probably jealous. Oh, he was. Oh, oh he you was know he was jealous. Up. He thought he was going to be the first black person. No, he was thinking. You know, Snip. he was jealous like that nigga. Who played shooting guard for the Chicago Bulls in 1984 when he heard they drafted Michael Jordan? <laughs> Craig Hodges, <Hodgson. laughs> he was jealous, jealous. Craig, like, you oh, stupid. nigga, oh. oh man, he drafted Jordan. Oh, oh that nigga you ain't even shoot, Jordan. man. Man, you drafted this nigga. <laughs> gonna trade me? You gonna, tra- you gonna trade me for him? You gonna trade me? <laughs> Ungrateful sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what about this chick right here, man? Her name is Karen Parsons. Do you know Karen Parsons? Oh, yeah. That's um Hillary. Oh, Hillary. Yeah. Hillary. You, you just had to say Karen Parsons. Yes, yes, That's yes. That's him. What else did she do except um, um Major Payne? Major Payne. She was, she was in Major Payne. That's all I was going to say. I mean, Major Payne. Major Payne. She was on I the hit show. No more after that. You know, that's what I call your grandson. So Michael Jordan can win if he ran for prayers. I don't know, man. I don't no, think he can't. Not the black no, people ain't going to vote for Michael Jordan. No, he, he got too many scandals, too. <laughs> he, yeah. he a gambler. He, yeah, he, oh, yeah, he fucked the money up. He a, he a gambler. Oh, he messed up the economy Jordan, even worse. And Jordan be like, hey, <laughs> he'll fuck some shit up. Hey, let me see your pair of Jordans. <laughs> Let me right. See your pair of Jordans real quick. Karen Parsons, though. Um, what else has she been in? Let's see her IMBD. Her IMBD. Hey, she did. She was on the number one hit show, like the greatest, one of the greatest black TV shows of all time. Um, oh, it was hard to come from after um a big show like that, Fresh Prince. She might not have really had to do much. She, she didn't. She had um complexion for the connection. She was light skinned in 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 ninety in the nineties. Like how many of them actors did you really see after that show? Alfonso Rivera. No. Nah. <laughs> you just seeing him now because he got a like a reflourish. That damn Carson dance came back. Yeah, was that show cursed? I don't think it was cursed. It's it was more cursed? than a, it was just that. He should name it the Will Smith fed show. Into the, it fed into his strengths, though. It was like, it was Will Smith. It was who he was at that time. And all his and cast didn't do shit after that. Yo, she was in class. No, nah, they didn't do nothing. She was but in class. But they, always, they oh. will always be remembered for that show right. as some of the greatest actors and actresses. They was dope. Damn, Freddie Mitch think um, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Oh, that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> He said Michael Jackson could have won. I feel yeah, like right. Michael yeah. Jackson could have won. What year it was? Could Yeah, <laughs> it was in the two thousand. I don't know. I feel know. like anything possible in the twenty twenty show. Anything yeah. possible. She did a few things. Anything she can happen. Um, she just started something in twenty twenty. Michael Jackson. Thing. Michael Jackson had white people fi- falling out, dying for him. Fame. I'm talking had ambulances Everybody at his show. Out. That, that's that's when you. Right there, we when out. you got ambulances at your show, <laughs> oh, Michael, he don't want none of y'all. He don't want none of y'all. None of you bitches. <laughs> he don't want none of y'all. All he want to do is sing and get stay, the fuck and, off and the stage. Buttholes, nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who else's birthday is? Ooh, this. I mean, not this dude. This chick right here, man. She wanted the Wayne brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the sister, Kim, Kim Wayne. <laughs> She one of the Wayne brothers. She one of the Wayne brothers. They're all a little funny looking. Yeah. But she is the funniest looking of them oh all. And she's the girl. God. That nah, she looks very like. Very fortunate. This is actually yeah, Michael Jackson, he'd have been a white president. I don't know. This is a good picture. She had, looks like she had a nice work. I had to find that picture, too. I had to find that. I know you did, because she looks like Kenny and Ivory Wayans in a wig. I said, I can't do her like that, man. Right. That's, <laughs> that's, the picture, that's the nicest picture I've ever that's seen. That's the nicest picture I found, too. Man, you were supposed to put the real her up there, uh-huh. yo. You sure? I don't know who that is. Right. Who is I this would, woman? I wouldn't recognize her from that picture. Hoppo, who this? That's what she looked like. She, like, she played in the anti-slave movie back in the day. Um, ooh, what's his nigga name? Ariel. 
Nick. Oh, oh damn. No, that's Teddy Riley. What about him? I hate his beard. This piece right here in his beard. When you see Teddy Riley, you're going to be like, Ugh, what is that? Why you been staring at his mouth so long? I ain't staring at his mouth. I'm just saying. Hey, when you made the bed, did you find my tweezers? That's a good question, GMTA. I put him over there. His DNA will say he'll be a black president, though. Oh, that is ugly. That thing, that, that little landing strip, he be uh, licking. That's nasty. He got booty juice in that motherfucker right there. How you gonna cut all that and leave that right how there? You like, got, how you got a fro underneath your <laughs> lip? <laughs> he got a fro lip. <laughs> that shit look nasty. With an edge on both sides. Sharp edge. Hey, look, all right, Teddy Riley. Why he didn't fix his eyebrows? That patchy as hell. Right, them shits look like this damn thing right here. Oh, no, that's you. Y'all leave me saying this is me. Y'all know the damn Rest etch a sketch. His, um, mustache hair looks like etch a sketch. <laughs> she wouldn't look really. online and bought a damn etch a sketch so no, she can no, draw me. Really. It looks like the damn like, little it, fibers, the little magnetic yeah. fibers that come with it. She was it talking was about me and she wouldn't she, look you could no drag up and down. so yes, she can roast me with this shit. It looks just like your hair on your lip. <laughs> it looks like I took a magnet and placed your your. your Cause I eat it rough, baby. That's all. That's how my shit look. My shit probably all skin. Project Pat. I just snake it on these birds. Pray it that I, I bet my cookie smooth as hell. You just exfoliate the hell out of it. I just snake I eat the, I've seen Project Pat. Shut up. Tell me I exfoliate the hell out of your shit. Fuck your birthday, um, dude. Let's get on to the death days, man. We got to keep on the show going. Guess who died on this date today? Who died on this date today? John Hancock. The dude with the big signature? The dude, you know why they, yeah. He was the first one to sign the Declaration of Independence. He signed it the biggest, didn't he? He signed it the biggest and he signed it first. That's why they said put your Hancock on something. Yeah. They referring to him because he was like, I signed it. Get these niggas out of here. Was he first? I don't remember that he was first. Damn right he was first. The mm -mm. You were first. Look at him. Look at him. Look, look why at is real hair peeking out from under his wig? He had them stockings on. That's 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 your forefathers, y'all. <laughs> they had them stockings and wigs. The world America's based on bitches. <laughs> Look at this still a bitch here today. The Just wig like party. Forefathers. My forefathers was in the fields. I guess who else died today? Fuck your death. Fuck your death. Who was <laughs> Al <laughs> Davis. Huh? You know Al Davis? Uh-uh. Pre, you should know Al Davis. Did your forefather also? You were old enough to be one of them when he, when he passed away. Al Davis was the um, owner of the Los, well, Los Angeles. He Raiders. Was? The Raiders. What? Just win, baby. Oh, my God. Y'all remember Al Davis? You see me over here overcaring? Overcaring. <laughs> she said overcaring. This is what he looked like when he died, before he died, man. It, they should have took him. How like bad Nick Cage could play his part. All right. He do like Nick. Cage. I was Cage. just thinking that. I thought that was Nicholas Cage. That's Al Davis, man. The, the Raiders. But this is what he looked like before he passed, man. It was like, whoa. How old was he? Mm hmm so was he like Bo Jackson Raiders? Yeah, he was the owner. Okay. He okay. Don't, he was spending all that money. Oh shit. He said just win, baby. Damn, Damn they say white people spoil, but shit. And then like sport milk. That's Damn. him, y'all. Bless his motherfucker fuck, heart. Fuck your death, Al Davis. Let's get on I mean, that. you got to wake up and not see yourself. Cause that ain't the same person, yo. Like, damn. The fuck is that? <laughs> you got eighty something. Guess what holiday it is today? Yeah. What holiday is it? The date? International Off Road Day. Off road. Off road. It's been off road. It's your four been wheelers. No, I've been I've been I've been in three wheelers, four wheelers, shit like that. But nah, you know off road nigga. Look how he just doing humping that man's face. Look at him. Ugh, ugh. Oops. Ugh, 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 ugh. I like seeing that he man hump. Though. I like seeing the he man hump. Hump. All right, let's get out of here with it. And it's also National Fluffernutter Day. Fluffernutter Day. What? I, I, Prem, a have you ever heard? What? Excellent. What the hell is a fluffer? What? What is it's a like fluffernutter? It's incredible mush marshmallow. Marshmallow and peanut butter. It's called fluffernutters. Yeah, that's good. It's, it comes in a jar, and you can take it out just like it's, it's like marshmallow, but you can spread it. They had this and in stores. Yeah. I'll get something. Just so you no, 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 no,
We're I don't think I want to. My mom made this cake one time. I don't want to try peanut butter made, and nothing. She made like a, a chocolate cake. And she oh, put that marshmallow shit in the middle. It was excellent. On white toast. Exactly, GMCA. That's exactly what I think. Two more bottles in the bin. What's up, bottles? You say little peanut butter and mayonnaise. Peanut butter and mayonnaise. No, 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 no. It's not. Fluff or nutter. It's, Fluff it's or marshmallow nut. and peanut butter. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweet, but it's good. Yeah. All right. National Hero Day. Who's your hero? Who my hero? Shit. Me. Shit. Shaq? I knew you were going to say that. You're so fucking narcissistic. Oh, shit. Ain't nobody doing shit for me. I hate it when they ask you in school who your hero was, because I never really had a hero. I ain't got no hero. My grandma the customer. Uh, that's the hero. <laughs> grandma, 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 Thanks, cuz. Thanks, cuz. <laughs> the hero is the customer. The customer. Right on. Fuck your holiday. Um, National Pierogi Day. I think I've ever had a pierogi, but I've always wanted to try one. What the hell is a pierogi? Isn't it like a little, pota like a little potato thing, like a potato? It, it looked like a damn. Like a it looked like some chicken wings. No, it's not chicken. Wings. Tell me, what's inside of a pierogi? Anybody? Pierogi oh. eaters? Anybody have a pierogi in the chat? It's not like some up north. It's not like some Italian shit. Um, Mussolini, what's a pierogi? It do look like some chicken wings. It like some chicken wings, some bacon on it or something. It should look kind of, look kind of, look kind of good. I used the air fryer today, man. I seen that, yo. I used the air fryer. Come Stone Age, ain't you? It's a filled dumpling made by wrapping unleavened dough around a savory. We need to pick me and the cake. Cooking in boiling water, and then they're often pan fried before serving. Pan fried, nah. From Central and Eastern European nations, so that's like the European version of a um a dumpling. Like a, you know, like. Oh. It's my super heist. I need a cape, y'all. Um, American Touch Tag Day. Touch Tag? Tag Touch. Touch Tag. That's, that's what they call it. I guess that's the um actual name for it. What does that mean? Playing tag. tag. Playing Tag. Touch Tag. Oh, I still want a pierogi. <laughs> I don't want to play tag with nobody, man. First of all, I got to run from somebody Polish. or run at somebody. I got to avoid somebody. I mean, too much body movement. Right. And I got to avoid you trying to miss this tag. You trying to juke and shit? And I got to... Yeah. No, man, sir. I'm to too old you. for that, yeah. I can't know. <laughs> Go ahead, cuz. You won. You won. I'm, 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 I'm it then, like cuz. I'm it. I, now, I can't play tag. As a kid, probably so. You just stop butts. Stop girl butts. Let's play tag. I go get? I did used to like to play tag so little boys would touch me, though. See? Nasty. Hold on. But that was mean though, because after they touched my head. Oh no! <laughs> he, said he, he ain't doing to that kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. Bottles, you always catch on to everything, man. I had to take that as off. As soon as. <coughs> no, oh, no, 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 he man, no. GMTA says you need a a, a cake, a cake prop. It I mean, is the season of costumes. I may be able to come up with one of those. Man, I got a box full of shit over there, man. That I can just pull out and put on all kind of masks and shit for y'all. Depends how lit we Why get. did you pull your box near you? Jerry? For the pull the box over here, y'all. Oh, I gotta do it now. I, I didn't do it now. No, you didn't brought the shit up. Before the show, idiot. No. Do your preparation. No. Look at the struggling. <laughs> Fucking bull. <laughs> You ain't shit. Y'all just don't know I married an imbecile. Where are your shoes in the box? I don't know, man. I found them over there. What are you looking for? I don't know. I'm finna pull out some since I had to come over here to get the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Now I can't see you. Put it on the floor. Now you can. Baby, shut it. Put that shit in the floor. Like a dog uh. snitch. Here we go. Hot already, aren't you? Dun, 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 dun. You like the most retarded shark ever. Like oh, a damn bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I lost. We lost. Um. <laughs> GMTA. I, lo I, I lost connection. What you doing? You got got your box and fucked up shit. Damn. I lost connection. You got spinning yeah. wheel.
I know, man. Bottles be getting tired of our shit. He be like, shit, fuck this. I think we again. back. I think we back. We back in the building. No, we not. Oh, my God. I hate this internet, man. The show must go on, though. Hey, man. You, you, you got to get on to the hate train. Primzilla. Yeah, man. I can feel my damn. What are you doing? I, I gotta grow my hair, man. I I got my hot dog sticking you out the back. Cut your hair. I gotta cut my hair. <laughs> so, this thing said the hot dog sticking out the back. It's the hot dog coming out the back of my shit, man. If I turn my head, you can see it, yo. Then I my hair growing. I got a damn hot dog, man. My kids be on my head, man. It even looks like you got a duck tail, like like he cut his hair on purpose, like that. It's just his little fat roll. Man, what is wrong with my internet, bro? Hey man, we gotta hate on some stuff today, man. It's the hate train. Maybe it'll catch up, maybe it won't. What we got to hate on today? Hey, we gotta hate on Lil Nas X. Why? Lil Nas X said this gay shit was fun at first. I miss pussy now. He said he no longer gay. He's just fucking around. How you feeling? That's how I, I feel like he's just fucking around. I think he, I think he capping too. I think he. Capping. I think he lying his ass off. That's premium with that damn film projector in the background. Is that what it is? Yeah, that, yeah the bottle what said, is it, that? He said, he said, it like I got a seventh grade film projector in the background. That's premiumzilla. That shit. Oh, you hear my fan? Yeah, you turn that motherfucker on too. <laughs> you just gonna have your cousin sitting in the heat because you don't want to hear, you don't want to mess up the production. Technical difficulties beyond my control. Reggie Noble stinking ass would not be performing with us tonight. <laughs> In my mind, I saw a little blonde prostitute turn off the fan, like going off. That's a flow. So, get like them fans. Lola. Get them fans. <laughs> hey man, Lil Nas X said he don't want no more dick. Is he, I think he's just fucking around. Maybe he, he's bi, but I think he's just fucking around. I think he's just fucking around, man. He, he do shit to keep shit going, man. Big shout out to him. Bottles always has the funniest fucking comments, though, man. Because he's a damn comedian, man, on the low. All right, who else? Who else? Who else we want to get into? Hey, man, I seen this shit. This is some dumb shit. They had my man um, Cardi B and her um, husband dressed stupid as fuck somewhere. It might have been for Fashion Week. This ain't fashion, bro. Look at this shit. Let me see what it is. Cause they had fashion week. People dress kind of crazy sometimes. You think I had on a big coat, big shirt, big pants? Look at this stuff, yeah. Is it showing up yet? Not quite yet. Cardi B and Offset, and she looking like Raiden. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was definitely fashion week. <laughs> you think you said Raiden? She look like Raiden. I'm telling you. I like the jacket. Who? Her jacket? I'm not walking out the house looking like I'm that. I'm not wearing bro. this show as a grown man, yo. I got kids, yo. Daddy, you look dumb. I can't even get out of the house. Oh, your kid's been the road too. I can't even get out of the house wearing nothing like that. Mm -mm. Daddy, you look dumb. You look dumb. You look stupid. My kids ain't gonna be like, "Ooh, you got on the, the shirt. What color kind of hat on? Offset." They be like, "He looks dumb. He wore that shit too." <laughs> that was just a few things I seen early in the week, man. You know, I, I started. Her look though. Avant garde. It's avant garde for sure. But standing next to him, he look dumb. Um, had a lot of um, wild looks this week, but it's because it's Fashion Week in New York. It is. I didn't know that though. Oh, yeah. Now you know. I guess if you want to be on that scene. And she does. This dude right here. He won a NASCAR race. I would definitely go to Fashion Week if I had the chance. Oh yeah, I go to Fashion Week. I sit there and and and, and snicker. Oh, snicker! I love it. <laughs> the art of it, I would love it. I mean, as, as artists, we can go oh, and watch it. But I'm saying, me and you. We'll talk about everybody. Oh, for mm. sure. We people watch. Me and Charlene, we go in places and people watch. Harsh truth. Oh, oh shit. Harsh truth. It's got to come through. We're going to give him. Hey, man, we got to talk about this dude right here, too, man. Um, The harsh truth, though. Hey, I was watching his watch collar the other day, man. His um, He did a review on something. I forgot what it was. But he was talking about they got an act, um, act, Agatha Harkness. Oh, Disney Plus series in the world. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I'm saying. I listened, I listened to him last night. And I was listening to that. They, they got an Agatha 
heartless of Fuck that tough talk that shit's irrelevant oh yeah much WandaVision. love to the heist man and crew raised fist medium dark skin tone taco tumbler glass it's dope i mean it's worth it medium fist much love to you too much love hey truth you already know what happens man you Truth. become. You become. Hold on, I gotta find the button. I told you, man. I'm fucking up. A super duper intergalactical Lord High Priestess, Grand Chancellor, Chief Wizard, King Imperial, Captain Shiznit of the World. Thank you, Truth, for your donation, man. Cause hey, the Frank stand. That's what you gotta tell people. Give some head sometime, man. Cosby Cup. You gotta give them the Frank stand. Hey, before that, hey, you also gotta pick your Cosby Cup, Frank. The first two have been picked already, Frank. You got the um this is what happened, Frank. You um went to the bar and you seen Bill Cosby behind the bar. And when you got your drink, this is what happened to you after you took <laughs> the first two gone, the, the red cup and the wine cup gone. Somebody didn't took them already today. But you have the tea, the sippy cup, the beer mug, and the you like OJ. Let us know in the chat. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, nothing happened. Let us know in the chat. Our, um, I'm about to say our truth. <laughs> Damn, not our truth. Not our truth. Harsh truth. The harsh truth. Frank. Um. Okay. Oh, what are we doing? We gotta wait for Frank too. Let us know. Yeah, let us know because I love seeing what's in the Cosby. You like to see what's in the Cosby? Because hey, I do. He said medium light skin, medium color, medium light skin, taco. medium light skin. I mean, that's said the mug of beer. Oh, mug the mug. Uh-oh. We'll see what's in the mug. Uh-oh. Inside of the Some mug, he gets. Oh! You get the girl who did the damn, um, the milk crate challenge. <laughs> Which one? Not one of them. You get a milk crate challenge, bitch. That's what happened. You wind up damn. getting drunk, and you want to do the milk crate challenge with her. You saw how long this been. The milk crate challenge ain't been a thing for about two, three weeks. But I, had I saw a, somebody did their, took their skeletons and put some crates in the yard, mm -hmm. and they made like a milk crate challenge with the skeletons. Big shout out to the harsh truth. Thank you, brother. Thank and, you, brother. Oh, that's that bitch who did it in the hills. She did yes. it better than anybody I saw. That's what happened. Harsh truth. You got drunk. <laughs> you got your milk crate bitch. Catch you. Yeah, hey, that's some dumb shit. Hey, this dude right here though, man, I forgot about him. Um. What did he do? Y'all heard what happened with him, don't you? He won the race in NASCAR. Almighty won. What's up? You seen what happened to him, though, man. They had a, um, the crowd was cheering. Fuck Donald Trump. What I mean, that? no, no, fuck Joe Biden. Fuck Joe Biden. Where was this at? It's his NASCAR. He had won a race. I and mean, he, he, during NASCAR, what do you think they was going to do? But I'm saying that the, the woman tried to, um, the announcer tried to cover up for him and say, um, let's go. White dude, whatever his name is, but they were screaming. <laughs> she tried to manipulate whatever, whatever I thought. So, they were oh, saying. they're saying yes, go. No, they was in the back. You can actually hear them saying, "Fuck Joe Biden." Oh my god! It was kind of funny, man. It was some earlier happening in the week, man. I forgot about it really. Damn, man. that's fucked up. It's fucked up. Um, and Donald Trump even tweeted out. I don't know if it's his real Twitter, but he said, "Great job tonight, Brandon." He said the people were all cheering you on. I hope that chant spreads like wildfire. Let's go, Brandon. So Trump did like you and, got, and used somebody else's account. Yes, because my my account is your account. I stole the well, shit out of your account. Back on mighty one. So oh, they mighty. wasn't saying let's go, Brandon, or were they saying go, fuck Joe man, Biden? Man, they saying fuck Joe Biden. I can play it for you, man. Hold on, I, I got nah, it, man. I got. I it. can't hear it. So it oh, matter. you can't hear it. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, you can't hear. It. Let me see if my people can hear it though. Let me see if I can find this. I do have it, man. I actually do have it. I actually do have it. Hold on, it's right here. Hi, partners. Oh my God, it's just such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon, you told me you were going to kind of hang back those two <laughs> stages and just I'm watch. So and what did you learn that helped you there in those closing laps? Oh my God, it was... Uh, Learning how each line didn't uh, stay to one, and everything shifted top to bottom so much. That's what he said. I mean, that's what they were saying. 
I was thinking like, yeah, is he like how they gonna put that on him? Is he a Trump supporter? Like he probably like, God damn, shut up, man. Don't be saying that while I just won, bro. I just won. You I know? know that, I don't know enough about what they got going on in other contexts. I would think he was to, bl to blame, but who knows? He shouldn't be to blame for it, you know. Like we don't know his stance on his political shit. Yeah. But don't be fronting me in front of people, man. Like, you know? Yeah. They call his ass the fuck out. They called him out. He probably didn't want nobody to know. He wanted to fly under the radar. He's like, shit. Shh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I just won my first fucking race, man. Y'all relax. Nobody All right, in the crowd had on a mask. Nobody had a mask on. <laughs> you damn right. They probably did not have a mask on. Woo! NASCAR! Woo! Three teeth! motherfuckers um blurred lines speaking of nascar blurred lines you heard about the blurred lines you heard about my man's um robin thick yeah he can't keep his hand to himself either allegedly allegedly the girl her name emily rod rodjakowski rod radikowski I, I can't say the j that's what um troy said be shout out to troy todd he wrote me he was like you don't have to say the j <laughs> Is Rad is Radajkowski, but is Radikowski. You don't have to. Who told you you have to say the J? Troy, the Good one, job, Troy. the one who said indignant to Joe and got Joe Thanks, mad. Thanks, Troy. He left. Name it, name it, Francis. I love it. Since the indignant comment, he came out and said. Corrections are, 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 are welcome. But he um, it's called Radajkowski. But she said, look, he got kind of handsy when they were filming that blurred lines. She's so young too. You know that song got all kind of shit, man, with it, man. I don't know. Mm -hmm. right, he, I'll that song crazy. got that song got so much bad energy with it, like man, I if it's it sucks too because it's a great song. On, right, it is. I wonder if it's gonna affect his job on um, on the mass the anger. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it ain't fuck up Nick Cannon. He I said, say, he said I'm Nick Cannon, anti-Semitic, right? Mark. Yeah. What else happened? You know, he had to pay all that money to um, what's my man name? What's my man named? Marvin Gaye? this cartoon with the girl? I, on the like internet, the baby. Verifier. On the internet. Because we don't know if she the monster or he the monster. We don't know. It's just his story versus hers. You know? He Rum and root beer, like everybody. Freak, I mean, hey. He be wearing his shirts with his little chest hair out all the time. Him and Pharrell had to pay all that money, though. I don't think that song sounded like, um, that song. No, um, Marvin Gaye stuff. We had, um, speaking of creeps, we had some weird shit going with, on with our neighbor. Um, Turn our, left. At our old office building. And we were all, I came home and told you one day that he was a creep, if you recall. Mm -hmm. and, and the newspaper the other day, he got caught touching on some girl, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Chiropractor. We were right next to a chiropractor office. Our shot was by a chiropractor office. Yeah, tattoos and chiropractor. He used to always be so weird and harass us so so much, and then finally in the news it came he out. He finally came out news out of Yo, Jackie. let me tell you something. Um, um, Valzilla was just telling me this story today about the same about dude. About this same oh. dude and what he did with this woman, and she. My thing is, the woman went to him nine times before she realized she was getting. Listen. Okay. Touched on. Touch. Listen, you don't but, realize it almost at first because he's so squirrely. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't right? know. Like he was handsy. You know when a motherfucker, so, so you know weird, when a motherfucker you touch your pussy though. You, you know when a oh, motherfucker yeah, you touch your pussy. After a minute. Yeah, hey, I can't for yeah, it. Ain't no figure it out. Like, like, you go to me and my partner all the time. You want to come get a free um adjustment? Come get a free adjustment. He was like begging us to come get free adjustments. You got a fat ass. You he try to touch that monkey. You try to touch that monkey. You try to see. Hey, let me, he, hey, that's a nasty motherfucker. You a chiropractor? You know that? Nasty. If you out there seeking out, if you a chiropractor he seeking run out, out of his office to ask that. Congratulations, babe. Shut up. Get that thing back there. I'm telling y'all. If I was a nasty chiropractor too, I'd be like, hey, you need. You need a lineman. You need a adjustment. <laughs> He's, too you need a He's like this little tiny man too. It's so weird. He had big drinks. Yeah, he got not, the fuck not that he he's got. tiny. It's just he used to just. I had to go over there tell him once, one time to stop, um, stop bothering my clients. 
Because he would run up there and ask him what they were getting and stuff. What you get? What kind of taxes are you getting? None of your business, man. I'm trying to count the money. It made, it made, it was off-putting. Mm. Blurred lines. It was off-putting. He, he, even he got in trouble with old girl, Miley Cyrus. Why they draw, drew some pips and a little tiny piece of ass on Molly, knowing she ain't bring none to the show? Well, if she had them little chicken cutlets, yo, they was talking about. I love, I like Molly, but boy, her See, butt looks horrible. So I don't know what the fuck drug Molly. Molly was on. Y'all remember that shit? She was she looked terrible. twerking. She was harassing. She, she was, she, she like, was exactly awful. Like she was like, cutlets. she basically... She basically harassed raped them right there on stage in front of everybody. She had a phone finger playing with this thing, yo. I'm telling you. If you go back and watch this, she'd be like, whoa. I don't blame him. I blame her for that. And his wife in the audience. I've been good, well, girl. Like I've been, hey, move, bitch. Move. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Babe. Good, girl. That ain't me. That bitch doing that. I've been. You would have given him a show. I've been moving away from that bitch. Like, there he got moves. Now I'm, I'm running. You were the Jay Z to. You were the Jay Z to. <laughs> you you better Kevin Gates. <laughs> the kick in the face like Kevin Gates. You were the Jay Z to the mama. Oh, this some dirty yeah, shit. Fuck right They didn't spill paint on the damn George Floyd damn statue. Why? After two days of it being up there. Why does it bother me? Because people that hateful. Head? Cause people hateful. Two days, man. Come it was on, up there man. for two days, and somebody went up there. You know, people hateful as fuck. I don't want to know who is this dude beside him. Who, who picture? Who is this dude that they didn't get? Now that, that that that's when you know it's hateful. When they had other surrounding niggas, they could have threw the paint on, but they went out there and picked him on the why second it like day. Bird shit? It looked like it was like, paint. I know. I said, why does it look like bird shit? They threw white paint on there. It was gonna get shit on one day. They needed something that. They could fuck that shit up. Is that her doing it? Look at all them other niggas yeah. around there. All them other statues around there. Hey, the statue beside him got some strong features. He got some strong. He look like my dog, man. He look like my bulldog. <laughs> he look like meatball. He like meatball. <laughs> look at him. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know who that nigga is. <laughs> who, who's that nigga on that nag? Why don't we need to know these things? <laughs> I don't know. But he ain't get his shit thrown on. His shit been there forever. His shit been there for two days. You know, and that's two... a hateful bitch that threw that damn paint on there. You mm -hmm. went all the way out your way to destruct that. And you know yeah, who it people is. people hate as fuck. It's fucked up. Fucked up. I don't even want to talk about that shit. I want to talk about this shit right here. Captain Kirk. What? Is on his way out of space. Is he going to space for real? He really going out of space. He going to space Wednesday. Jeff Bezos. Stop it. Captain the... Kirk. He going, this... he going in five days. <laughs> So it look like Billy Ricky doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a legend. Doing that shit, Billy <laughs> Ricky. Big shout out to Billy ass. Ricky, Billy Bickett. You think he'll get some space ass? I'd be scared to be any female going up to outer space with him. Cause you know he gonna try. He gonna try. He gonna try. He might even try to do. He be like, look, I gotta get look. join the two hundred mile club. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got I got to be the only man going? up here against they some going ass. Out of show. Space. They probably just well, hit the atmosphere. Going to like the space, um... Nah, he ain't qualified to make it to the space station. Okay. You go up in the atmosphere, look <laughs> at the damn <laughs> Earth. You want to talk about R.I.P. Captain Kirk? R.I.P. <laughs> Captain Kirk going out of space, man. He finally oh, going. Yeah, going with him. Yeah, on the Blue Rocket, on, on, on the Blue Origin. That's what it's called. Okay, okay. Then. Do you think they fucked up letting people go to um, space, bro? They trying to. They, Man, they trying to leave money. us, man. Preen. Oh, they gonna... I've seen too many movies that end this way. They like, leave they leaving us, Preen. In the ghetto. The earth is so ghetto. Earth is, people, like, earth black is the people ghetto. Have been, black people have been trained to know that oh. when a motherfucker leaving you, yo. Like, you can see the signs when the motherfucker leaving your ass. What the fuck is going on? What y'all doing up there in space? You done created a space force, for one. Now Captain Kirk got to go up there. Right, they got to the get a whole cap. They got to get the captain of the Starship Enterprise. You know what I'm saying? Like the last Something flight, going on. they went up there for like four days. Something going on. They Something to... going on that we don't know about, yo. Going on the trip? Hell no. I don't know. Nobody's black. You better look at, you better look at the sky. Oh, you left behind, baby. Kept, um, Kirk Cameron. Bottle said he won't. This is about to be Elysium around this bitch. Right, right. Bottle said he Bottle said he won't jump in the deep end to save his wife, but he'll go out of space. <laughs> sure. 
If y'all don't know, yeah. his wife died. He called on the phone like, yo, she's in the pool. Oh, no. She drowning, cuz. Eight no. foot of water. He's going out of space, yo. Like, B going out of space. What's, I'm telling you, man, it's something up with these damn billionaires building all these rockets, man. Crazy. They got so much money. There's like so many of them doing it, too. It's like, it's kind of blatant that something's going on. Something going on. All these billionaires building rockets to go out of space. Everybody's got money like that is doing it. They know something we all know. Shit. It's kind of like, can't you tell? Can't you tell something happened? Damn right. Mm -hmm. Sir Richard so Branson, everybody, all of them, building rockets to go out of space. It would be one, it would be one thing I don't know, people like, like them, them, people people with money, when money don't mean shit, like, I don't trust them, yo. They can do anything. They could get together and build their own shit, build their own livable area, and look at your ass, Dr. Okay, Evil Star. I mean, look at Bezos. He looked like Dr. Evil. Hmm. When I see Oprah, Jay-Z, Tyler Perry, and Michael Jordan get together and get them a rocket, I'm going to get right, head to the Glock. I don't Glock, think yo. they're going to, like, anywhere <laughs> far. I think they'll build them some shit, kind of like Elysium, build them some shit pretty close, mm -hmm. and have, like, mm -hmm. earth, like second Earth. Have them, mm -hmm. like, like, their condo in the sky kind of thing. That's what they do it. That's what they do it. They building some shit. I'm telling because you, man. Earth is dying. Earth dead. Earth dead. Earth is dying. They're trying to get the fuck out of here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they don't want to say it, but it's dead as fuck. I don't know, bottles. What you been in with them? So how much weed would he have to smoke? Hey, boy, if I can just, hey, if I talk to one of them billionaires, would you go? Man, so one of them got to smoke hella nah. gas I'm for go. me to ride with them, yo. Like you got to smoke gas, and we got to have gas up there. And we got to have gas when we come back. Ain't no coming back. You think you coming back? Then we got. Then you got to have a. You better figure that shit the fuck out before we get there, yo. You think you coming back, boy? Look, if I go over there, man. You I'm right like, though. Earth is ghetto. You Earth, know, I just Earth saw that ghetto. Black Widow movie. That Black Widow movie, and I thought about how this motherfucker had the red room in the clouds, bro. Right. I thought he got some shit like that for real. And I, it made me think like that, like, yo, it could be some shit floating around this world. People with that kind of money, they can live in the fucking clouds. They don't need us. You know? Yeah. And they don't need to come down. They probably got McDonald's up that bitch. You stupid. All they need us for is to keep this engine, this <laughs> economic system moving. Earth is ghetto. I like that. Ghetto Earth. That's what they gonna call this shit. But you going back to Earth? You going ghetto. back to Earth? You going to Earth? You going back to the ghetto? <laughs> Venus, it is I, for I, me. I mean, I'm on Earth. I need bail. Hey man, Earth like where they send you at? Earth like Arkham, nigga. Right. <laughs> Arkham Earth. Hey, this dude mm -hmm. right here, man, used to be the coach of the Florida Gators. Went on to Ohio State. Oh. Uh, Urban Meyer, y'all seen Urban, Urban Meyer? Myers. Urban Meyer, Damn, he, dirty dog he dog. was getting that lap road. They try to put it out on ESPN, like um, she was dancing near his lap. She was dancing near, near real near it. But look at his hand, yo. His hand. Legs. Look at his hand. He he up in. He grabbing that monkey. He, <laughs> man, I would punch him mm. in the dick if I was his wife. They've been they've been married since I I can't remember he, what they said it was. Yeah. He had his hand up in that monkey. They've been married like years and years and years. I know that move. Yeah. <laughs> you know that move. Hey, nigga know that move. He had a whole hand you definitely monkey. know that move. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he was doing, man. It's messed you up, know man. What you they even had a, 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 a picture. Some chick took a picture of him, and she said, who is this? He keep flirting with me. Like he was out there, he, oh, he putting him out. Man, it's a chick out there saying, like he was out there having a good night. He taking pictures with bitches, and she had to take. Who is he? Some who is this? He keeps flirting with me. She ain't know who he was, bro. You know he boasted being um out with his homeboys and this girl. I mean his mm -hmm. homeboy and his friends and stuff celebrating. And his wife, she had liked the tweet of him out there celebrating, and she had put out a tweet saying some stuff like, "Yo, meanwhile I'm here babysitting." With the kids. Yeah. Oh no. Said, buddy deserves a night out. You know, like, go ahead, do your thing. Come find out when she wake up in the morning. He out that motherfucking. Night. He at his own restaurant though. That's his restaurant. That's his. 
That's his restaurant. <laughs> That nigga That's had, his shit. Had his hand on that monkey. Oh Lord, man! I would have clawed his damn face up. So every damn. Zim saw this first hand. He was at the club still in everybody weed. <laughs> He's out there grabbing that monkey. Hey man, that's messed up. Man, he came out and apologized. Oh, me like that. Yeah, he I owned it and shit. I seen him apologize to his teammates. Right. I ain't even apologize to his wife. Not that, not that we need to be a part of that. For but, me, the distraction from his team. What? Where is your fucking loyalty to your family? I want to say shit about my team, man. I'll be like, bruh, man, fuck y'all, man. Hey, practice council today, man. Or run the extra laps, man. Y'all know how I go, man. I got to get my home. Hey, bae, I'm sorry. He on the 50-yard line, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying everything going yeah, on in practice. I'll take everything Mr. that man owns. Mr. Kincaid, what's up, pimping? He did that shit, though. Well, she said, um, frankly, I don't need to hate vitriol, slander, trash that will at me. This has never stopped anyway. That she, she wrote this um, yesterday. And then she said, we all make mistakes. We are all sinners. If you think you aren't, then cast the first stone. To my wonderful followers, thank you for your love, support, friendship, laughs. I will miss the most. I love you all and wish you. God's blessings on you. Thank you. So she hashtag fam. Oh, she quit no, Twitter. She just wanted them. Women she quit that Twitter because she was getting, she getting a lot of hate, and you know she's standing with her husband. And right, right. I mean, that's her they addressing she's the issue. Up. They addressing the issue, and she don't want all the hate that people been sending her. Some people you can't tell. I've had a friend like that. I told her her man tried to approach me, and me and her yeah. are not friends. Some women yeah. you cannot tell them. Because they do not want to hear it. They already know it, and they don't want to hear it. They live their life trying to pretend that's not really going on. Right. Damn. That's messed up, though. Now, now, she Urban Meyer, now, he a million dollar, he a multi-million dollar coach. I don't know, multi-million dollar, send him some damn divorce papers. He out there taking pictures. Yeah. He disrespected the shit out of her. Yeah. It's yeah. one thing to be a cheater. He's, I'm not saying I'm not condoning cheating at all. It's one thing to be a cheater, but to be openly cheating, where yeah. anybody can just photograph it, that means you don't give a fuck. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. He did not give a fuck. He was he disrespected out, his whole family. He, he did his kids and his wife. Not only he did, did he get he got caught, but he he got caught in public. He wasn't trying to hide it. <laughs> he was not trying to hide it. She had to put. He said cheese. he just he went over there to take some right. pictures, and they were trying to get him to dance and. He should have left, and he didn't. Well, he was sitting down. He, he had okay. Man. I've seen people. He was sitting down with some somebody. ass on his dick. That wasn't the case. That's what he, he was had doing. His legs open, and she was between. He was with some legs. ass on his dick, and she was grinding him. And yeah, she made her intention known, and he and made his intention known. He's like, "Hey, what's up, baby? You gonna let on? You know, I own this, right? <laughs> All this. But you know, he said that. You know, he said that. It's my shit. Yeah." It's my shit. It's all here. It's my shit. It's my shit. Hey, this man. Motherfucker. Speaking of my shit, somebody tried to take his shit. This dude's name is Clint Eastwood. Somebody made some weed, some CBD. Mm-hmm. Clint Eastwood face name and likeness on He sued him for like a hundred and some million dollars. Like one point six million dollars. He got off. They 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 coming out with Clint Eastwood. Can you Damn. You feel lucky, punk. Can you imagine that? You going to buy some some weed? Like, oh shit! Let me get that. It's at Clint Eastwood. Then it ain't even really. You gonna his. buy it off the name? You buy it off the name. No he, money off of it. He ain't getting nothing. He got shit. He got one point six million off of it now. They use hey. his name and likeness for some weed. Well, that's what they get. They was getting money off his name then. Big shout out to them or him. He don't need no money. Big shout out to him. Hey, no big shout out to this dude right here, Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace. Oh, congrats. Big shout congrats. out to him. Bubba Wallace won the first black racer in 60 years. St- 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 stolen from Drew. Well, Drew stop, stop, stop. He, he, no, he gave this one to him. He, he hit me up and gave this to him. Given by Drew. Yeah, yeah given. G- 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 give give, 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 give. Because I ain't know nothing about this. I don't know no race car. I don't know nothing about this dude right here. But, um, you know about Bubba Wallace? I know about Bubba Wallace. But I don't know shit about Bubba Wallace. I don't know when they racing. I ain't know they had a race. Drew was like, hey, they, he won a race. You should do a story about it. I'm like, all right. Oh, that's did you bubble. Do a story? I did do one. Okay, good. Because of Drew, I'm telling you, stole, stole, stole him. Um, Gifted by Drew. He won the he the first black racer to win since Wendell Scott. 
That's what's up. And he won in the same place. They dropped that new set. Even more what's up. Remember they had that, that, um, mm-hmm. that, that mm-hmm. news? I mean, that, that's a great win then, you know? Not that it wasn't great already, but even better. Ain't no black dude won They're no like race. They're like sprinkling the salt on the steak. Mm-hmm. So, um, big shout out to him for winning. This dude right here got to be the dumbest motherfucker in the, in the world right here. I don't know his name. I know he nice, was. Man. No, that's not me. Uh, oh. He was drunk and he was missing. He was so drunk, he helped the damn people look for him. Oh, no. <laughs> no. He was so How drunk. How drunk do you got to be? This is Ronnie Lee right here, man. He was so What's drunk. Up, Ronnie Lee, wherever you're at, wherever you may be. He was so drunk, he had to look for himself with them. That's he was hilarious. Missing. How long did it take him to realize that that was happening? Somebody looked at the picture and I'm like, bruh, is that you? Huh? He was drunk somewhere, was wind up missing. But you know what? Even though he was drunk, he was still willing to help. Yeah. I'm going to give him some props. He's out. Who is it? I, I found him. I was here yesterday. <laughs> but he out looking, don't even know who they're looking for. It's him. What team are we rooting for? On what? Football? <coughs> <coughs> Not it. Him and um, King, Mr. Kincaid talking about um, some hockey. Oh, hockey. That's, okay, be, that's okay. beyond my jurisdiction. I just, <laughs> and in all sports, I just go for whoever red has wings. the colors on their team. I'm a Red Wings fan since I'm from Detroit. So, I always got to go with the Red Wings. Um, he looked for himself, you know. Didn't you have a Red Wings hat? Yeah, had a couple of Red Wings hats. Oh, okay. They ain't fit right like I want them to. I ain't get them out the store. If I can get them out the store, I can really see what kind of hat. But if I order them offline, it's like, I hang them up. <laughs> I don't wear them no more. Like this one. You had a couple I ordered offline. I got a couple. I don't wear them either. You I'm, wear one of them? I don't wear that Toronto hat. I don't wear that one. So um, the Cubs. The, um, the red. I, I got a couple of them. The A one. You wear that one? I did get it offline. Oh, this right here, man. Hollywood. You know, Hollywood going through a, um, they're going to have a strike. Another strike? What yeah. Strike the they striking about, they want them time for, for breaks. They need to eat. They need to, um. Like human stuff? Human see, shit. You see? You see? See how the world get? As the world progresses. They will strike, baby. The last time there was a big strike like this is when reality TV really hit. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we're going to have a lot of more reality TV shows. They, 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 I don't think they went on strike yet, but they're leading to it. If they don't have writers, we're definitely going to have reality TV shows. Writers and all this shit. Everything. They won't. They won't. They, they ain't even hollering about pay wages and shit like that. They're talking about they want time, like, to eat a fucking meal. They want to be safe, like, the protocols you got to go through. Nobody the- wants to be treated like a fucking slave. There's more slaves than just what happened here in America, sir. Speaking of strike, <laughs> it is. Um, Kellogg's, they striking too. General Mills. Kellogg. The world is in a time of turmoil. Yeah. I don't read nothing about this. I know these stories came back to back, though. They want to um, strike too. Said, I'm greedy. <laughs> That's what he had a sign up saying, said, they're great. They striking to kill out cereal or something. I heard you know how there's a lot of signs up to say they're hiring people. Everywhere hiring. You, you, they say they're hiring, but everybody's getting online. They're talking about they say they're hiring, but they're not hiring them. The thing is, is they figured out that they can work with a skeleton crew, and so it's easier just to pay fewer people to work them to fucking death. Yeah. Than to actually hire more people, but they gotta look like they're hiring people. Cause every job, I, like everything you see, like from here down to their university, you everybody, everybody hiring. I literally saw people online talking today saying, "Is anybody really hiring?" Because everywhere I go, they 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 have a hiring sign, but they refuse to give me a job, like for servers and stuff. You see, you better go and stock up on them frosting flakes, man, because they' gonna be right, Mister KK. You better stock up. I need to too. Hey, man, what's his dude's name? His name is Elton, Sir Elton John. He came out and said, the Young Thug is a better freestyler than Eminem. Oh, he's still beefing with Eminem. 
You know, they had, a what? Little, they had a little tip back in the day. They did. They did a song together, though. But he just ain't over it. He ain't over, he ain't over it. it. How are you going to say Young Thug is a better freestyler than Eminem? He getting that last word in. I don't think they're even in the same realm. No. But they ain't nowhere like, near each other. I'm, I'm telling you, all it is, is he had a tip with him. Eminem is a rapper. Yeah. This dude is an entertainer. He got good music. It's different. It's good. I fucks with some of it. But when it comes down to Eminem and and Young Thug, bottles is there really a Kool Aid shortage? A Kool Aid shortage. When's the last time we had Kool Aid? Kool Aid short? I don't know. We don't even get Kool Aid. I, I don't even think they make Kool-Aid. um great Kool Aid. Do they make great Kool Aid still? Yeah, of course they do. You about to lose your black card. I was going to say, what kind of black man? Black man are you? What kind of black man are you? I don't know. It's 2021. Shit change. Um, GMT, I say no. Drink Kool-Aid like they used to? Because I know we had a pitcher of Kool-Aid and a pitcher of sweet tea every day. Yeah. We, I mean, I don't know, man. Since being with you, I've never seen nobody that didn't put soda inside of the refrigerator or pop. There's no room. There is no room. Why, why? Why do that if you can just put but, ice in it? I'm saying that comes with a whole different thing. Now you got to put ice in it. Yeah, but I like ice in my drink. And I don't drink soda. And you don't drink soda. So. Y'all lucky I buy that shit. Because if it went for you, I wouldn't buy it. It wouldn't come in the store. That's why I buy that shit every time I go to the store. Let me get a soda. See, you buy it more than I do. I occasionally get it. I will not get soda. You will not buy soda. I'll buy stacks and stacks of water bottles. Yeah. Oh, man. And yeah, I got to bring them bitches in. <laughs> That's all y'all need to drink is water bottles. That's the only time we drink water. And that's why I buy so much of it. Cause I'd rather y'all drink that. So the soda's poison. The kids don't not. I ain't never seen the kids going to get a glass of water. It got to be like some no, they dire straits. Tap water, they bougie asses. They're not drinking tap water. It got to be a water I bottle. I think I'm the time. only one in the house that drinks tap water. I will sometime, man. I'll be, I'm a, it does. Almighty yeah. one. It, it's fucking poison for real. It's poison. This dude right here, I mean, this woman right here, she got poisoned too. What happened to her? She got poisoned by her neighbor. What? Her, her neighbor and not, not poison, poison, but he put out speakers of monkey noises and all type of oh shit. Oh my God, you told me about this. Through the whole hood. Like he had a playlist for everybody. Can you imagine the hostile environment that they were living in? Like, that's hostile, yo. Mexicans, like, Asians, everybody who walked by. How made a sound for him? He was, think about, remember we had that, remember the first shot we had? Remember the dude who stayed upstairs from that oh, shot? that piece of shit. He used to play, oh, um, that motherfucker. yeah, you remember that? That motherfucker used to that. play the, um, the Exorcist on loud. And he used to, call, <sighs> and he used to say, the in, y'all, in baby, shut you got, your in baby in, up. Shut the in baby up, uh, we had Fat Boy, Fat Boy was a baby. You wanted to fight him so bad, I had to like keep you from beating that man. I up. wanted to get him, I think he wrote, our, he wrote on, our, on the door of our building, Meth Lab. Or something like that. He did. You I re- forgot all about that. How, this has been a long time. It was, we had to leave that mm-hmm. building because I didn't want you to go to jail. What, what was that dude? Who was playing in the Super Bowl during that time? He called the cops one time and told me we had drugs. Who's playing? Who's in the Super Bowl? Oh, um, man. I can't remember. I remember that Super Bowl party, though, we the had The Super Bowl party we had, and the police came. Um, The Green Bay Packers versus the Steelers. And yes. We, and we was leaving. We opened up the damn door. Police out there, we look, smelling like reef. We're like, God damn, we in there kicking it. Like it wasn't even a party. It was like we watching the Super Bowl at the shop. Me, you, you and your wife, and a few other people. Like we were sitting there kicking it at, at the new shop. It was our new. It was our first and one. It was our first one. Yeah, it was our first shop. So we sitting there kicking it, chilling, enjoying I didn't it. Didn't feel comfortable working there. We ended up just get letting. And he didn't call the police on them. We leaving. I'm over there. Like God damn, we had Taco Bell and there, chips and shit. I'm looking like. I put my weed inside there. I took my shit to the cop. I'm looking like, I don't know what you're talking about. The woman like, I smell the weed, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah she, gave, she gave him the look like, I smell the I don't weed. think they really gave a shit. I think they were just coming but because that man called. Oh, like, man, that but dude up there so bullshit. Weird. He was a weird motherfucker, man. Fuck him. So I, I imagine that's what she felt like. That's exactly how she felt, man. Like, she said, she come out of her house. <laughs> like monkey noises. <laughs> Fuck no. Like, soon she come out of the house. She, like he had, he had me sitting there waiting, looking out the window. Like, oh, there's a black person. Track nine. Uh, <laughs> here come an Asian. 
Track eight. I put the cameras up to, to watch him, and I would have thought of fucking stupid ass things to do back. You know, Eddie. The police said they couldn't do nothing to him. Probably because it's free speech. It was like he, he wouldn't hard- harassment. They should be able to do something. That could be a noise complaint. I mean. I mean, it could right. be a noise yeah, ordinance. They could have got him for that, but they didn't. All you do is pay a fine and be right out and do it again. And do it again. Maybe he had it just since at the right decibel. Mo- since he wanted to do monkey noises and shit like that, I would have put like a whole African theme in the goddamn yard just to fuck with him. With, with little dudes with their middle fingers up, like facing his house. I thought it was just a black woman. He did the whole neighborhood. Like, he was just a grumpy motherfucker sitting in the that house. Bitch. Didn't like nobody. That was a hating ass nigga. And I seen the interview with this woman. She, messages up she, was, she was not a um a ratchet ghetto chick. You don't have to be for somebody to be racist and get you. I mean, you. yeah. Some you, people just hate you because of the color of your skin. You right. I thought, you know, maybe um they'd no, do that. he's probably just a piece of shit. I like, who did no, that first? Hate. Who did that first? Was she living there first? Was he living there he first? He doesn't have a reason. Mm-mm-mm. It was kind of dirty though, man. I was like, damn, that's messed up. No, we running out of time. Yeah, that's dirty as fuck. All right, what, what else we got? Hey, the Zodiac Killer been found. About damn time. His name is Gary Post. Oh, can, can damn. I, can I talk about a serial killer? A potential serial killer? A potential serial killer. Has yeah. anybody heard about the cannibals? I think. Uh, don't don't hate me if Moody I say it wrong. Closer. I think it's in Missouri, huh? Moody, it's Moody Mike Lafosa. The box. The box. Oh, yeah. okay. So, I, I'm not sure if it's Missouri or what state, but one of those states like that, there there was uh, like this picture of this woman circulating like in a cage, and they tracked it back, found the dude that uh, posted it, and this other guy that was a truck driver. Apparently, this they've been working together. It is awesome. And the truck driver has um, been bringing women back, and they've been, the police came in, one dude had a damn human meat sandwich in his hand, had hook they had hooks with frozen body parts, a freezer full of fucking all Man, this is a legend, but but it was like the police officers' wives were telling people and they were reporting it back to other people. They had like a Bitches. freezer full of yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you, I, you ain't just gonna let that slip by meat that you said, a, a meat sandwich. A human meat sandwich. Yes, yeah, yeah, the poor boy. human meat sandwich you started <laughs> laughing when the police came in there. They had their whole, they had like booby traps set up by outside. They had like their windows with stuff nailed on the outside so people couldn't escape. They had like their own freezer truck. Like they were, they were selling body parts for people to eat on the, on the uh, black web. And they had just like two weeks before gave their neighbors human meat ribs. Ew. Like there's some wild shit and none of this has been on the regular news. They just had a court. It's Damn. Not, it's not like, this is not what's happening. They just had a court date. They had first appearance in court over it. And, and the Damn. crazy thing too, somebody while they were while both of them were arrested, somebody came out to the property and burnt the house down trying to get rid of the evidence. So they were selling meat. The Boston Strangler need to be found. Damn. Damn. The so Boston I just thought that was some wild shit. I just had to share. There's some wild shit going on in this world, I'm man. I'm obsessed about this information. It's crazy. That was where well, I'm glad they finally caught old boy though. Yes, man. we need to update a Zodiac documentary for sure. If if that's really him, we don't know. He died no, three years him. before that. That's, that's him. It, he got the lines in his head. Yeah, he did have the lines. Yeah, that's definitely him. I'm. I'm they and, found, and having his name allowed them to decode the Zodiac. You know how he had that uh, coded message. His yeah. name was the answer. It was the key. Oh. Yep. Damn. Godson. What's up, Godson? He said, what up, cuz? This is Chris. When you going coming back to visit D-Town? Don't come back to the D? I don't know. It's going to be a minute if I go back to Detroit, man. Last time I went there, the buildings was all knocked down. <laughs> I ain't even in Detroit, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, ain't a family member um close enough died yet, you know. I had a couple, yes, I had a couple uncles die up there. It was like, I, I love your uncle, but I got to go for other uncle. That's <laughs> fucked up. Grandma, I'm with that. It got to be a little... <laughs> Yo. No, nah, I'm bullshitting, man. It got, it got to be like a closer uncle, though. Closer aunt. <laughs> My grandma. My daddy. Um, this dude right here, man, Lil Fizz, he apologized, man. He was long overdue. 
he apologized to Omarion for messing with his girl, man. He did it on stage, too. Hold on. I think it wouldn't be right if I didn't take this moment, bro. Look at this to publicly apologize to you, man. I did some fucking real shit to my brother. Some snake ass shit. And I'm not proud of it, man. So I want to sit here humbly and sincerely apologize for you, to you for any turmoil or dysfunction I caused between you and your family, bro. Ain't no way in hell, man. Hey, you saw you talking to Rock, man? Hey, man, tell Rock I love that nigga, man. I miss that nigga. You remember Terry, don't you? Mm-hmm. You remember we um, had that nigga in North Carolina? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll never forget us, boy. That was the first time um, my mama let me smoke weed, yeah. Me, you, and him, man. and her was in the car. And we was like, yo, pass that shit. Because me and you would smoke, you know. And my mama, she knew right. I'd smoke. And me and my cousin was down there, man. We were smoking, and we was like, yo. We like, we like, bring pass blunt, pass blunt, nigga. We was and in I, the said, I said, can I pass him the blunt? And she said, pass, pass it to the punks. Pass, <laughs> pass him to punks. the fucking punks. Smoking and ever blunt. since then, he been like, oh, my God. I I envy y'all relationship. I, it took me a long time to let my mama know I smoked. Shit. I was 16, it took me boy. A while after that. Cause I've been smoking. My mama knew I smoked a little bit. She know I smoked with you. She smoked with you right. all the time. And I come, right. back, I come back in town from Detroit. Me and my cousin be hanging out. Can I hit it, mom? <laughs> Black mamas. <laughs> I love my mom. I don't give a fuck, man. My mama let me smoke weed. Shit. Hey, man. Did y'all see this shit? I did too. Y'all see this shit right here, man? About this motherfucking gator. Ate this other gator. Man, how terrifying you got to be. What kind of message you sending to the other gators <laughs> around? Like, it had to be some other gators looking at that shit. Like, yo, you see what he just did to Leatherface? Right. He ate a whole like, gator. He, he ate a whole six foot gator. He like, was a gator he ate when he swallowed that motherfucker whole. Just, nom, 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 nom. just yum that shit. And. What do you do to him? You like, bro. Do Look how big his him. fucking head is. That's a fucking dinosaur, yo. Troy. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, man, that Troy. Hold on. I gotta call him Pop Toon. Call, 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 <laughs> call Troy. Shoot him. Shoot him. That's a tree shaker. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Hey, man, I love that show, man. I don't care what nobody said. That show was dope. Hey, man, what's my man named Tiger? He got called out by this woman named Nikita Dragon. Speaking of damn alligators, let's go to another dragon. Nikita. Nikita Dragon. She said he was in the DMs trying to holla, holla, holla. He said it's coming. She, 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 no, I sent out the screenshots. She sent out a screenshot. He said he was doing a video for her, but she said he texts her like, hey, look, what's over there? She's trans. Like, damn. I'm not sure if she's like, um, got any her lady bits changed around mm -hmm. but she did call him out she, she called him out that. he tried to holler and she jumped in the ADM she was like look Ty got her trying to holler she said most definitely not true if I want to interact with Ty I would actually open up my DM she said he was in the DMs with her man she said he was in the DMs I don't know man he, he um to show you what I'm always saying what you always say you, you, a lot of people's sexualities, people always trying to oppress people, but sexuality is very fluid. This is allegedly too, but hey, you see the DMs. I man. mean, the, them DMs um, pretty much speak for themselves. He was in the DMs, and she was, was a trans. About sexuality. She was but a trans woman. One thing I will say is that it's a dangerous game to play that because some men that are quote unquote straight, but they be in the DMs of. Even though she is a woman, a trans woman, right? The fact that she was biologically born a male is enough that makes somebody kill her if, if they were found out that they were attracted to her. Well, we, it's not. It's not that they're not going to be attracted. 
is that they're going to feel threatened by the fact that they're attractive enough to try to talk to her. Speaking and of tra trans women. Oh, yeah. They spell. Hmm. What? Hey, close up. Did you watch that? Me and Charlene watched nah, it. Nah, I ain't watched it yet. You ain't watched it? Was it good? It was pretty good. Man, I work, yo. Like, what it the was fuck? Pretty good. Um, I ain't watched shit. Pretty controversial. And, like, it's hard because I'm so hardcore, you know, advocate and ally for the LGBT community. Right. Um, I, I guess it, it's kind of like looking at it from like a straight hit his this is a dangerous group groups that we're dealing mm -hmm. with now oh shit himself. the guy's son himself just donated to the channel man hey thank you thank you it's my cousin chris yeah. this is ray he look like ray allen hey thank you in detroit What's up, man we haven't met yet he look like, he look like ray allen man when we was younger man we used to tease him a lot because he looked like ray allen. he looked like jesus shuttleworth <laughs> he did. He looked like Jesus Shuttleworth growing up, uh, man. Heist has told me about your many Jesus, late night roasting Jesus. sessions. Man, we just getting to talk. I just want to let you know that I, I roast him severely every day. They, they used to kill me back in the days, man. He still gets killed. Your punk ass cousin still gets killed by me and his children. We give him no slack. Thank you. Hey, I don't know. I gotta hit the. I gotta hit the button. Do 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 do. I'm, I'm I'm messing up, man. I'm I'm, I'm slacking. You, you become a super <laughs> a super duper intergalactical Lord High Priestess, Grand Chancellor, Chief Wizard, King Imperial, Captain Shiznit of the World. Thank you for donating to the damn cause, man. This is talk that talk, man. We have fun over here. I'm glad to see my damn peoples in the damn chat, man. This is crazy, man. Dope. See my cousins from Detroit, like I be mean, like. They ain't seen me in a while, I'm man. Flustered. I, yeah, I'm flustered, man, because I, I didn't got fat. You're so cute. I didn't got fat early. Right. It ain't like you started out skinny. Right. I was never skinny. I didn't got fatter than my cousins. They ain't seen me in a while. They see me again. They're like, damn. You helped me. Le, Le Dennis is big Dennis. <laughs> I have a question. Was uh, Dennis's lips that black as a child? I always smoke. Shut up. <laughs> yes, my lips always been as black. Well, his lips burnt. As a, as a uh, as a little kid. Yes, my lips always burnt. Dave Chappelle, man, fuck you. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, but what he did though, when he had this this um the clothes, this shit was controversial for a little bit, man, because he started talking about this transgender woman, and the story goes, Preen. I'm listening. Oh, I can see you because you moved out of the camera. The story goes oh, my bad. With, with this with this transgender woman. Um he said he had met her, he told her to do stand up for him, she bombed. Like the you know, but then he had her in she was in the audience and she killed it in the audience in the audience. Like she was saying some funny shit in the audience. And he always, you know, respected her. And um the people got on her head and she killed herself six days later. You know, Damn. I have a different perspective on that. Like You're, I heard his perspective, uh -huh. but then I was hearing other perspectives online. They said that what she went through with him sitting in the audience was torturous. Oh, and he, that, he he said he asked her questions, and she was sitting there answering everything he asked, and they had like a good rapport. Mm -hmm. And that may be his standpoint. Mm -hmm. Other people were saying it was not that way. And then she got real depressed about it later. And, and, and her name was Daphne know. something. I forgot. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know the situation. Right. I don't know. I, I like Dave Chappelle. I'm a big fan of Dave Chappelle. He catching a lot of heat for this. He is catching a lot. He catching a lot of heat for this show. He did. I this. don't know if it's, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I need to know all, all the way around for me to have a good opinion. You know what I'm saying? I thought Damn. he thought he gave her a little shout out and all he that. Did. You know, he like very caring, seemed like he, he, he seemed sincere. Um I only hope that maybe it brings some awareness to him and more sensitivity about the situation, especially having made a connection with a trans woman. You know, I, I hope that maybe it'll help him learn. Right. Maybe help other in the long run, make other uh Straight males are, are a little uncomfortable with this with the uh, pe trans people, 
Maybe right. a little bit more accepting. I think everybody should go check it out, man. It was, it was, it was dope. Like I said, the comedy, it, it's like he don't even do comedy no more. He just get up there and talk, and people just laugh. You know, it's like he's not up there telling jokes. He's a storyteller. He's a storyteller. He's a great storyteller. But, um... Yes, she did get... She did defend him, Texas girl. And she got bullied by her community and, her, and killed herself six days. Yeah. Damn. Being trans alone is like one of the hardest things. You know, you not only have a conflict... It, you know, let's just say, like, for instance, if you're gay, Yo. you're, you're in conflict with the social norm. But to be trans, you're not only in conflict with society, you're in conflict with what your body looks like versus what your mind's thinking. So th that's so much pressure on a person. And then, you know, people treat you like shit just for any anything that's deemed abnormal. So I, I can only imagine what she went through, especially considering her, she had so much slack from her own community as well. Right. It's nice to see you, Texas girl, by the way. Turn my camera off or something. Maybe my shit ain't working right. I don't need no camera for this. Damn. What's up, Texas girl? Face. Yeah, man. That. She, damn, man. I hate when this stuff like this happen, man. I'm lagging. Just like they don't want me to say what I want to say. Oh, yeah, man. Let's get back into the shit, though. So that's a big, big shout out to that, man. Damn. That's fucked me up. The baby. He was in the DMs also. Said Friday off no football for my son today. Hey, that's good. I know when you have kids that play sports. Oh Lord, I just pray. Like my first, my first children, first few kids, I tried to have them involved with stuff. These last three, I, unless they beg me, I ain't doing it. They got to ask specifically. I don't blame me. Why you, is my shit lagging? The crack of damn dawn, going to these damn games. And, and practice, oh gosh, I'm over it. I try to tell people don't have more than three kids. After that, you get burnt out. Or you get wore out. Woo! I'll never get wore out. By the time mine gets worn out, they'll have new pussies on the market and I'll buy one. New pussies on the market. I got new titties. I got a new pussy titties. Bought my boo bigger tits and a bigger ass. Who he? Not I. I so mm. strong that Popeye. Hey man, the baby. He did some grimy stuff, man. What did he do now? The baby. He was um, doing business with this dude, man. And he sent his little chick to holler at her. He sent a chick. She came out. You know, he, he sent one of his um, people work for him. He was like, yo, go holler at that little bitch for me, man. I need, hey, that bitch bad. I want to holler at I mean, her. you sent somebody to holler at me? That, that, Damn. That, 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 that was a married woman. He was doing business with the dude. Oh, was he was doing business with her husband? Yeah. Oh, he's shitty. He he did business with his, his name like baby. His name L.A. Truth. You leaving us bottles? Good night, bottles. Our, our production's off. You got to go, huh? I know how it be, man. Bottles be like fuck this shit. Catch it on the replay. I'm gonna reupload. I'm gonna reupload it. Um. We love you. <laughs> that's what's up, bottles. Thanks for coming through. Um, the, the baby he tried to holler at this chick though. Now he did business with him. He met the chick, you know, a couple of times through him. Like they, they come to do business. They like, say I got a business. You are gonna be right there with me, you know? Yes, Boom. Always. And if I gotta meet somebody, you gonna be there. That nigga when he said, hey, psh, he sent his damn the girl who worked with him. Hey. That's grimy. I get insulted. You like got the, three. Texas girl got three. God bless you. I wish I had three. Right. I wish you had three again. <laughs> We should have had three. You know where we be at right now? We had like the first three. Y'all be in Cancun somewhere. <laughs> we had, My house would be so clean. We had the, think of the last three we got. I think we only had the first three. I have money. <laughs> <laughs> we have our own bed. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have a seven-year-old cop blocking. It's awesome. I have money. Our seven-year-old looked her daddy in the face the other day. And he gave her LA melatonin, Truth. looked her, him dead in the eye and told him, I don't care. I ain't going to sleep. And didn't. And didn't. She's she she right, Texas she girl. She the damn melatonin's ass. Um, his name L.A. Truth. Her name Miss L.A. Truth. And she came out. She one told her, like, yo, man, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. That's corny. Yeah. So if anybody know For me, sure. then I don't do no shit like that. You tried me. Real corny. That's, I, it's so insulting. He tried. When does some shit like that. I get so insulted. He was impressed. He was like, 
I need you to DM this bad bitch for me. This is my second time see me seeing her. Is that a sign? No, bitch, that's not a sign. I gotta have that. No. And this dude, he came out like, look, it's on, it's on, it's full go. He said it's on site. Mm-hmm. He said one thing my father taught me when I was growing up was never the F for the married woman because that can get my head blown off. It sure can. And that woman, and that woman husband wouldn't be wrong. Cause it's time to show motherfuckers what's up with me. Beast mode activated. Time to spank these See? little niggas' ass. See? That's, hey, that nigga mad. Like, my what bitch, you, you the baby? I be like motherfucking T.I. fighting motherfucking Floyd Mayweather. I want my ugly bitch. You just call me an ugly bitch? No, that's what T.I. said to what you call it. Oh, y'all, y'all heard that. Oh, that. man. Come get on camera, baby. You're beautiful. I'm not getting on camera right now. I'm a little off for this moment. <laughs> I love my off bitch. <laughs> you stupid. You stupid, man. Um, for real though. I'm here with, that, with my night clothes on. You got night clothes and some. Um, my hair looking fucked up with some pork rinds right now. And some headphones. My headphones. Well, I'm saying. So that's crazy, man. About the baby. What else we got going on? Dwayne Martin and um, what's her name? Jada Pickett been spotted together. Doing what? They just spot it together. Dwayne Martin is um, Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell. Ex-husband. They didn't they get divorced. They got divorced. Ex-husband. They just got spotted together. Listen, Will done did so much shit publicly. Jay don't give a fuck no more. Mm Mm-hmm. They got spotted together, so you never know. I got to see it. All right, what about this? Facebook. What about it? The whistleblower? Mm-hmm. Grab on Facebook and say, you about to say, say guay? What is that? Segway. Segway. Se- you dumb shit. That's how you Damn. spell segway? <laughs> yeah. That's a, I thought seg and way. Damn. See? The Bless uneducated him. black man Bless is the problem Jesus. in America. I, I've never seen that word spelt before. Detroit cousin. Damn. I, GMTA, thank you, bro, for this teaching my This should be word of the week, cousin, nigga. This word. Hey, thank you. I, I Segway. I did not know that was Segway. I'm starting to feel real bad for my children's DNA. Damn. I got royalty, got royalty inside my DNA. So you Ain't about to no Segway today, no I was. I think we didn't pass. I think the damn shit done lagged out. and Man. Damn, Jada Head looked like a bobblehead. This would have been a dope show if this shit went all the way through. It's still dope, baby. You, I'm gonna have to re-upload it, you're, man. You're doing great. All right, what about um, Facebook? Whatever happened with Facebook, though? Oh, that shit went down for a day. They cleared some shit out of their records and put right. it back up. They, they shut it down. They said it had, they had like a five or something error, but really they was in there erasing frantically, erasing shit that they knew the fuck they did. I heard they had a white woman up there who <laughs> tell everything. She did tell everything. She was. She's been collecting. And the data. day she wasn't that the day she had to testify. I think the next day she testified, but she hasn't yeah. collected data over time to prove her. She saw what they were doing, is and what they were doing is they were let, was letting hate speech and just them kind of Man, simplifying. They should they should everybody shit off. Letting stuff they were supposed to block fly for money. Blaze mm-hmm. people it on purpose. Told to do it. Told people to do it on purpose. It's pretty much it like ain't no booth no around them more though. It was like when the tobacco companies knew that tobacco was killing people and they were hiding it. It was pretty much the same thing. Mm-hmm. They were letting hate rhetoric fly. Just to make money off of it. And when they did that shutdown, that was to clear up their books, you know, make it look like they that shit wasn't there. Oh yeah, they did talk about the baby on the they special special. I thought that's what you're doing too. I thought you were saying I thought you were using since um baby came after, I thought you used Dave Chappelle to segue over to the baby. I forgot about that, but that was a great talking point. Um, he talking about some um the baby shot, motherfucker. That was funny. He had, it was some great comedy, man. I, I, he, he, the baby shot somebody in Walmart. <laughs> That's what I got from that. I didn't even know that. I ain't know that either. Facebook, I, I ain't got Facebook, so I don't know nothing about Facebook. I was not mad when they got yeah. shut down. I barely used my Facebook. I don't know it didn't affect me at all. It didn't affect me at I all. Shit. The only thing uh, it affected me is I do use my Instagram for my clients to text me. Right. 
And some people couldn't write me like they needed the address to my shop and stuff. But see, I didn't. I don't know nothing about Facebook. I ain't but got TikTok it. was straight. TikTok, man, I hate TikTok. I love and hate TikTok. I hate it. I don't know why you hate it. I love TikTok. Because they, they TikTok is shit. Man, they they ban my, my videos every damn day. Like it, who's banning you? I don't know. I had got four who's videos. Who's you? Four videos I put on like the shit I say on do on YouTube. I can't do on TikTok. And when I do when I make videos for YouTube, I see videos way worse than yours on there every day. The stuff I do on YouTube when I make a video, I don't curse. I try to not say nothing. I just try to put a damn little clip, like, "Hey, man, he did some weird stuff," I'm, and I, you know, show the picture. Doing violating, yeah. I'm violating the shit out of I don't TikTok. Know what you're doing. We need to read through the code or something and see exactly what it is. I done did four videos that I took off of TikTok, and my videos do better on TikTok than doing YouTube. Maybe somebody reporting you. Know how you go on there and report somebody? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's somebody in particular reporting you. Fuckers. It's hating, uh, doing hate, being hateful on purpose. Look through your friends list and see who's on there. Maybe I ain't got no friends. You don't have any friends on there? I think I follow everybody who follow me on there. I'm gonna un unfollow everybody. Except no, everybody that's not making a difference. Oh, YouTube took off um, R. Kelly videos. And you don't have to follow anybody on there. It's not like Facebook. It's not like you're on there to make friends. You just follow who you want to see. Who I don't see no. I don't look at TikTok. You just follow who's on your timeline that you want to watch. I don't watch. I don't watch TikTok. I can't stand it. Too much fucking dumbass music. Every time you change the video, it's a new song. Loud as fuck in your ear. I like it. I can't do that. Um, YouTube took all of them um, R. Kelly videos off. All who? R. Kelly. Because well, they don't want to ride with no pedophile. All right, he is a pedophile. They took his videos off. I was like, what? I can't. Isn't it weird that I don't... That, that I don't... I don't want him to get money from his music. Because he's a pedophile. I don't want him to get revenue and stuff. But... I'm not opposed to listen to his music. It's still great music. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. No, like you can't just like you, with you can't no Kanye, mind. with Kanye or Michael Jackson, or right. they all are. They they, they are crazy as fuck, but they got great music. I love Kanye, man. Kanye dope. Look at Weinstein or whatever his name is. He got great movies. Shit, they yeah, took them shits out, out of rotation though. You don't see them shits on the damn, what you call it? Them shits gone. Them shits gone, really. Them Weinstein movies. I saw one Oh, them shits gone. You, you, gotta, you gotta look for it. You gotta find it. That shit just don't come on. They don't put his name up there, the Weinstein Company. They don't put that shit up. They skip them little damn words. Directed by. Starring. I, like I think the last one I seen was Kill Bill. I love Kill Bill. <laughs> directed I by Weinstein. I saw the TV the other day. What were we watching on television the other day together? It was just something that was playing on TV. Mm hmm Oh, no. Arcade, fuck you, dick. Hey, man. I got this story from Drew, too. He hit me up with it. And when he first gave it to him, I was looking like, man. If I didn't know you, man, I would not want to even talk about this. What was it? He sent me a story. He said, cotton prices have went up. <laughs> oh, fuck up. He hit me in the DMs with this, you know. Drew hit me up with stories. Hell no. I'm like, man. <laughs> Not cotton. Not cotton. He said, hey, man, the price of cotton going up. He said, I would love to see the comic section of that. I'm That's like, me hilarious. too. I'm like, me too. I love to see the comic section of that shit. It was funny. But I had to think about it. I'm like, if I didn't know you, if I didn't know you. <laughs> so you know I do a lo quite a lot of people. White you, man sending me cotton stories. <laughs> my man's though it's my man's in, though in context with the, the cotton thing I, you know i do a, quite a bit of shopping and i often go to like home decor uh places like like um joanne's like craft places mm -hmm. do you know they've got like an abundance of like cotton stuff to make like bouquets and stuff why do people think that cotton is like an aesthetic like why do you want your house to have like these cotton things because to, to me, the first thing I think about is fucking ra racism. The fabric of our life. What does that make you think of like... <laughs> the fabric of our life. Does that like, make you think of racism of when you see like, lives. Cotton, like a cotton bouquet in somebody's house? Right. I wouldn't want to see that shit. I'd be mad as fuck if somebody give me some cotton. I don't want to leave. It's It'll make me want to leave. I don't think it's anybody but my people who decorate with cotton. Don't, I don't think no black, black people. I we do don't not even... think black people decorate with cotton. 
We don't even want to open it by aspirin sometime because it got cotton. We <laughs> was like, man, I'm opening it from the bottom. I know it's my people doing that shit. I ain't picking I'm no cotton. That's an old that's a, racist that's, ass bottle. That's, that's an old Will Smith joke from um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes, I remember. <laughs> he couldn't do it right. Somebody, t- I think it was um, um, D.L. Hughley was on there one time. And he had said that. And Will Smith got on stage said, Cotton, I want to pick cotton out of the aspirin. I ain't no comedian. Fuck y'all. Um, who else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Woody Harrelson. What he, he done knocked the motherfucker out. What they do to Woody? Being Woody. Hey, man, somebody was walking by Woody and his family, man. He trying, They were trying to take pictures of him and his daughter. And Woody just like, hey, man, fuck. Ah. I can see Woody doing that. I can see Woody Harrison. I like Woody Harrison. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. So, we, I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of him having too much shit, at least of late. But that's probably warranted. He connected, man. Look at Harvey in the chat. Escalade. Damn, man. Seems like he always show up. My shit is the worst. <laughs> my yeah, internet. Huh? My, every you time. All your guests today is looking I, at some shitty production. I know, man. I hate this show, man. I hate this shit. Every time we have a great fucking showing. You'll never see him. I don't ever get the damn. They're like, oh, that nigga shit lagging again. Click. Mm-hmm. You got going on. Escalade in the building. What's up, pimp? Who else? Hey, man, you hear about these NBA players? They got busted for them welfare fraud. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 18 they had, of like, them. insurance, like medical insurance fraud or some shit. Yeah. Isn't it enough that you was in a damn NBA earning big bucks? Nah, you had to get on. five root canals in the same teeth. They were like, man, fuck that. I'm going, hey, look, hey, he, hey, he doing it, he doing it. So I only heard a brief story this morning on my way of getting dressed and leaving out. Were they, like, in cahoots with the dental people so that they could, like, get a portion of it? Or how are they doing that? Mm-hmm. I, I think so. I think they were. I, I would think they were. I think, like. You think my dentist will do that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it had to be like, hey, my man's, he a dentist. He, he can sign off on some shit, you know? Shit like that. Like, er- everybody got somebody in a damn place that can do some shit for them. It's all about connections. And if I know, if I can go to your your spot and I can buy 100 boxes of this, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you and it's going to help me. Yeah. You know? I do that because that's my mans. So that's exactly what happened to them. They were hollering at their mans. He was like, hey, look, hey, man, man, bring everybody over here. He brought 18 motherfuckers over and they got fucked up in the long run. Busted. Now they got real shit. All the shit real. Just the paperwork ain't real. Yeah. They saying they paid seven thousand. Only paid two. Some shit like that, you know. Uh huh. They spiking the books. Getting a, getting a it go down like that. Like, come on, I ain't, I ain't above that shit. <laughs> I'm mad you left it on this damn cook, cooking show over here and making me hungry. Turn the channel. I don't want to turn the channel. All right. Um, bad baby. She got a new face. Bad baby looks bad, and not good bad, not baddy bad. Bad bunny, it was bad okay. baby. The other day when I was scrolling on TikTok, I saw um this little boy. I thought it was. I thought it was a little boy, like a um. It's a a I thought so it was just a, cashing a in on the love. Queen. Hey man, ain't nothing but love over baby. here. Hey hey, check next week. The the lag won't be here. Yeah, hey, perhaps. Perhaps. What's A number love over here, Escalade? Sorry, Almighty One. So sorry. You know that nigga beat me up before? No. <laughs> I'm going to fight you again, Escalade. Y'all was tussling on the damn your sister porch. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the time I got him and he slipped or something. And we, when we were sitting there wrestling one time and... I, he slipped and he fell on the ground. I had him. I, I got over him. We couldn't do nothing but laughing. Like, you motherfucker, you got me. I'm like, man, mm. fuck you. I can't let this. I whoop your ass. You said I'm muscle. I can't let this slip get me. Because I had him, you know. You nah, know, you, you, know got, we, you let him slip. No, he, he sli- Yeah, I let him slip or something. You know how you do when we get in cold city. Mm. You got to grab. Me too. I grabbed him. He grabbed okay. me. We grabbed. We tussing it. And that motherfucker fell, hit the ground. And that motherfucker couldn't do nothing but laugh. Like, you must have been like, damn, don't beat me. No, he laughed. 
He like, bitch, you got me on the ground, you motherfucker. He was like, fuck yeah. Me. This ain't my victory was not. It was. <laughs> my victory. It was, was like shit. you got the victory, oh. right? It wasn't the victory you won. It wasn't the victory I wanted. The fight you won with me was the time I slipped and fell and you sat on me. <laughs> I was so mad. You better be glad I couldn't reach nothing to stab your ass with. That's, that's what I did. I, bah, bah, bah. Yes, you were smacking me on my ass. I was pissed. Because I was mad. Because I... happened? I whoop him in chat. Hey. Um, bad baby. She looked crazy. I thought she was a drag queen. I yeah. still ain't seen bad baby. Ew. She's lost too oh. much weight. Is she trying to be Cardi? I don't know what the fuck she's trying to be. She's lost so much weight, she looks like she might be. She need to go to the dentist next week. Hey, I need to go to the dentist. Charlene keep trying to get me to go to the dentist. I'm going to have to make him go one day. But know what I keep doing? I keep using oral gel, nigga. Why you got so many tubes? Keep using the oral gel, baby. No, I got plenty of oral gel. Why do you have so many open? Why can't you just use one to the Because I be doing, I need one from over here. I need one from over there. I'm sitting there smoking, playing Can video I just games. Take you to the nah, I don't want to go to the dentist. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't distraught yet. Are you scared of the dentist? I can still eat it from the back, so I don't need a dentist yet. If I can eat. Listen, it. I'm gonna. You gonna have to stop eating my tooth until you get that tooth fixed. I don't want an uh-uh. infection. You gonna have gingivitis in your no, shit. No, I don't want an infection leaking up into my crotch. Trojan man. Hey, this dude right here, man. This black dude. He, hey, shocked the shit out of me. What? School shooter. I know, right? Black dude. Why are you shocked at that? I'm, I'm, you, seen those young you ever seen a boys? black school shooter? No. No, but I've seen the potential before in my time. He he didn't shoot the school up. He shot a motherfucker. He shoot at a. He was getting he bullied. An individual. He was That's getting bullied. Different. He was getting bullied. First time they didn't take. Hey, they they, they did right by him. They didn't kill him. Thank God. Thank God. Do all the white boys that way? White boys shoot up the school. They take that motherfucker to McDonald's. They take them in handcuffs somewhere. The church did that. I'm, I'm saying like you no, know, the ones that go there and shoot up the whole school. They get. They, they deserve to be shot. But I'm saying this dude, he was getting bullied by somebody. Not condoning what he did, taking no yeah, gun. Yeah, not condoning at all. No taking no gun to no school, shooting that motherfucker. Could have been way worse. He could have been target. He could have just shot up everybody. He shot four motherfuckers. He, four he, motherfuckers had, he had somebody in, in mind, a particular person. The four motherfuckers that were robbing him. Motherfuckers, you can't be fucking with people, yo. It's just an example. You just can't be fucking with him. Yeah, he a baby. I mean, he eighteen, but he a baby. And um, he went to that school, man, and um, he let off the he let the thing go. Being bullied does something to you, though, because I know I've plotted on people before. But I seen on news like school shooting, like goddamn, any white people don't. Ah, your team, your team. He black. Damn, but yeah. Y'all but me this time. He did that. They said four y'all people. Y'all got him. Y'all got Harambe. Then they said he did, it, it was like four people. I'm like, oh, that was some personal shit. The white boy, the this nigga had a handgun. He, he let, he, yeah, he let off on them four niggas he was getting into it with. Hey, Darnell, Reggie, Terrence, Dewan. How do y'all pow, shit? Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Shot them. It wasn't like Susie, Chris. Hey, come here. <laughs> You know, he didn't get them. So, um. Richard, you next. Yeah, he should know teachers and nothing like that. He got bonded out, too. He got bonded out. Um. Wild story. Big shout out. Not big shout out to him. But you got big shout out. Big shout out to him for making it alive, Yo. man. Shit. I know somebody was late from work that day, like, God damn, I didn't get a chance to shoot a nigga. I, I never. I shouldn't have gave my shift up. <laughs> Somebody gave they shift up. That's why he alive. That's what happened, man. They were supposed to shoot that nigga, the man. wrong race is what working that day. Hey, speaking of race, The Rock, he's multi-race. He had a song out, The Tech Nine. I thought I'd hear it. You got to hear the song, man. It's called Face Off. Tech Nine, strange music. GMTA, he put me on to some music by um him and Drew did. Cause, um, Drew said Tech Nine from... um. The Kansas City, Missouri area. Uh-huh. And he know a lot of his shit. So he, he put me on. They both put me on to like 12 different albums. Like, yo, they got plenty. I know about Tech 9 because Tech 9 is like one of the most underrated underground rappers that was. But then he, everybody know him now. Like, he's not underrated no more. He don't right. for his shit. That's what's up. 
and um he was independent all his damn career and he got more albums than anybody more than jay-z tupac combined mm -hmm. you know he got he got a whole following he had a whole following like he how did like, the rock end up on his shit that's what everybody's saying like yo the rock dope look I, I i've been telling you this man is so dope that's my next president i'm voting for the rock look it up face off the rock in a like wow rock spitting them bars that's what i'm telling them bars speaking of bars this man, white man might not be able to go to a bar no time soon man his name is jim katz he's an announcer uh -huh. for baseball and um Johan Muchado or something like that. He came up the bat and he said some racist shit I've heard in my life. What did he say? What'd the he dude say? came up the bat and they was talking about him. He was like, yeah, I used to be in the dugout, man. I was wondering if I can get a guy like that on my team. He said, I wish I had a 40 acres full of guys like him. What? What? He wanted 40 <laughs> acres of no. this nigga. He wanted 40 acres. This is a um, Latino of some sort. He a black Latino or something. Yeah, but he was a black Latino that said it? No, he was, he was oh, straight up white man. My 80 some years old. He oh, said, Lord, my people have shamed me yet again. He said he, 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 was, he was saying that he ain't mean nothing by it. He was like, yo, when he, when he was he a manager, didn't, he said he was a manager and he said, shit, I wish I had him on the field. Like, shit, I wish I had 40 acres of, of, of field. He just the wrong amount of acres. Why? That is so dirty. That is so Lord, dirty. White people strike again. He said he wish he had forty acres of this nigga. Damn. My forty. Forty acres of the mule. We still ain't got that. All the numbers. Hey man, this dude right here too. Also, they call him Chucky, but his name is John Gruden. He's a football coach, and uh -huh. they found an email of some shit he did like in two thousand eleven about. Doing? The um, the Morris Smith. The Morris Smith is like the head of NFL PA Players Association, and what he said to him, he was like, "Yo, the Morris." He called him Dumb Morris. Lips look like some. He got big lips like Mission and Tires. No, <laughs> he said crazy <laughs> shit too. He emailed that. Yeah, he emailed it too. He was mad at him. He was a coach. He was mad at the Players Association. He was like, "Dumb Morris has." Big lips like so mission. Was talking about him. Talking about him. Somebody he emailed this shit. That's funny. So that's crazy, man. Yeah, you can't be putting everything into words. So that's that's no, you meant that shit. And last but not least, man, this is the funniest thing I seen on Twitter all week long, man. If y'all haven't seen that movie Squid Game, it's a dope mm -hmm. movie. Somebody had a picture up. And they had the three people that was at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. And they had a picture and had all three of them up there. And the tweet said, four broke motherfuckers looking at each other. Hilarious. I know. And it was a picture and it was three motherfuckers looking it's at three motherfuckers whoever looking was taking at whoever the picture. Oh, like, and yo, it took me so it long took me a to, minute get, to get, that, get it. I was like, I just got it. But I love it, man. He said, four yeah, broke motherfuckers looking shit. at oh. each other. And it's looking like, God damn. I'm definitely one of the broke motherfuckers. I'm one of the broke motherfuckers. I'm, I'm one like, of these damn. three people. I gotta find a clear piggy bank for the kids' costume. Oh, you talking about... Oh, Our yeah. seven-year-old's gonna be that doll that shoots. Did you watch it yet, Free? Nope. You still watch the Squid Game? Y'all act like I got that time, bro. I don't have that time. Watch one episode a day. That motherfucker said, four broke motherfuckers looking at each other. I love that shit, man. I love that shit. Damn, we're coming now to the end of the show. It's late. He was talking about right there. He ugly as hell. It ain't the more smart. Both of them ugly. <laughs> but that's who you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's gonna get to the other picture. Should we get we, we, we lagging like a motherfucker tonight, man? It's the Christmas. No, it's, it's Halloween time. Prem Zilla, you still with me, man? We're rushing. You better hurry up. <laughs> Prem Zilla. I'm, yeah, I'm with you. <coughs> what is your ghetto word of the week? Please get a word of the week this week. Yeah. Looch. 
Looch. Looch. Sheik Looch. Like Sheik Looch. Kinda sorta. Cause, Cause Sheik Looch like one of my favorite rappers, man. I like I like Kinda him better. L O U C H E. Is that? Is that O U C H E? It's Looch. Okay. It's Sheik Looch. So Looch. I never knew this week means. Squinting, ambiguous, or shady. So Ooh, this begs the question: Was Sheik Loosh really Sheik Shady? Sheik Shady. He was looking at me. And was he the original Shady? That's kind of dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna loot at you, your hmm. booty, Charlene. Uh, I'm gonna loot. You're into squinting at her booty. You gonna loose at her booty? Ew. Stay away from me. You get you get looched. <laughs> That's Prince Ghetto me. Word of the Week. That's Prince Ghetto Word of the, of the Week this week. Thing. That's what's up, man. That's Looch. gonna be my motivation for you to get that tooth fixed. I'm not getting my tooth fixed. It's but in the you back. You will die. An expected tooth will kill you. It's time for the nigger break. <laughs> Hey man, this is the time of the episode, man. We must all get it off our chest. Sometimes you want to say something just downright despicable, nasty. You got to get off your chest, man. I say nigga, that's my favorite word. Some people say nigga, Jew, hunk, spick, spade, mooly, wop, faggot, paraplegia, anything harmful, hurtful, and nasty. Ugh. Get it off your chest. Get that burp off your chest like Prem just did. <laughs> this is the nigga. Sorry. Burp. On Such the, a freaking lady. <laughs> Such a lady. <laughs> On the count of three, we all gonna inhale and exhale and release the toxins. I say, nigga, you say what you want to say. So, on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> nigga. What you say? Fix your motherfucking tooth. Fix your tooth. That's all right. That's the nigga brain. God damn. Do we do the gay part of the show? Uh, no. I don't think we can, man, because we lagging so much, yo. Maybe we'll just save that part for next week. We can save it for next week. Hold on, I think we got... Is that like fun? I don't I think we might be catching back up to the... Ah, oh, we keep losing it. I keep seeing it look like it is, but it ain't, but it is and it ain't. Where did the time go tonight? The hate train took over, man. We was getting it in. Wow. Talking that shit. Talk that talk every Friday, we're man. We're going to have a female pinhead on a new Hellraiser. Why? Oh, I forgot who I'm talking to. You're just going to be mad because it's a woman. A female pinhead? Oh. Why? Why not? Why? But why not? I mean, I, there was a girl pinhead. Just what, I, what, what, I, what was I telling you? Do what I tell you the other week. What I tell you? I ain't got no problem with it. But you kind of like pinhead is pinhead, yo. But there was a Why girl make it a female? With him? She had a pinhead beside him. She looked almost just like him. Oh, I gotta see that again because. Oh, mighty one, you gotta do something for Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. You, whoa, you not doing nothing? You ain't passing out candy or something? Hey man, dress up, man. Take fucking pictures and motherfucking put them on Twitter or something. Do something. Have some goddamn fun. Halloween is a fun time. Go to the fucking bar. Go outside. Just dress up and go outside. That's all you gotta do. Get the most elaborate fucking wild costume you can get and just walk the fuck what outside. Day does Halloween fall on this Halloween year? falls on a Sunday this year, I believe. Oh, so much, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. You know me, I don't know shit. It is on Sunday. Boom, I know shit. Um, where's some. Motherfucking knew something. I knew fun. something. Cause I, I calculated towards the days of the show and shit, and um, wear some wild shit, man. Like me, I will wear some wild shit any time of the day. It's Halloween every week over here with me, man. I might put on the baby mask, baby got baby got baby. Might put on the cat, goddamn it. Y'all want to see heist in the cake? I'm gonna get me a cake too. I'm be nigga, man. I can be anything, man. Have some goddamn fun. Halloween coming up. Can't do the gay part of the show this week, man. But next week, the gay part of the show will be. Hold on. Do y'all look the taste? Zombie apocalypse. Oh no. Yeah.
Yeah, man. We gotta wait, man. We gotta wait. playing that next week on the oh, show, shit. man. We can't do it this week because we got, we got the lag. Bro. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh. I hit the wrong buttons, man. We is fucking up bad tonight. We fucking up bad. I'm lagging so much, man. I can't even get the show like I want to do it, man. It don't seem like we lagging now. It seems like we stopped lagging. Should we do the gay shit. part of the show? Y'all wanna do the gay part of the show? That's on you, just la not lagging. You lagging. I'm lagging. I thought my shit said I'm clear. It look like I'm clear to go. Ah. Oh. I'm telling you what I'm looking at. <laughs> Me too. I hate this show, man. I hate this show. This shit does it every week to me, man. Find me a damn song to get out of here, too. Y'all ready to get up out of here, man? Talk that talk. Episode 181. It's going on again. See you later. Them odd number shows, yo. It's, it's, every time, it's every time we got an odd number show, our shit fucks up, man. I can't even find the damn the song to get out of here too, man. I got ads. Like, how is it every week? And then you don't change nothing. It's a YouTube world, man. They don't want to fuck with me like that, yo. Fuck this shit, man. Primzilla. What do you got to say before we get up out of here, man? All right, all right, all right. Y'all motherfuckers have a good fucking weekend, and we'll see y'all next Friday. Yeah. We need too many buttons, man. Come on, man. Put the button phone. Shit. Charlene Defoe. What do you have to say before we go? I have fun like I want to, man. What's up, be hating on you? You two be fucking with me, man. They scared. They scared I'ma say something. You know what? I'ma fucking say something. We're gonna do this shit all over again next week, man. Episode 182 of Talk That Talk. We'll be coming to you live Friday at 9 p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. We do this shit, man. Y'all gotta remember a few things, man. First of all, thank you to all the super duper intergalactical Lord High Priestess, Grand Chancellor, Chief Wizard, King Imperial, Captain Shizness of the World. Donating over here, man, and fucking with us, man. Supporting the motherfucking dream, supporting the stream. Thank you. Y'all gotta remember a few things, though, man. If you need a dope show, call on Heist Man the Foe. And Primezilla. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all do, do streams We do a show Don't worry about what the people want Worry about what you want to give to the people I'd rather eat crumbs with bums Than to eat steaks with snakes Don't compete with me Eat with me <laughs> Shut up Charlie <laughs> And thank you for ducking with your crew. Charlene Defoe, Primezilla, Heist Man Defoe, in the motherfucking chat. Thank y'all, man. We're going to do this shit all over again next week. Primezilla, here we yeah. go. One, two, three, hit it. Peace. I started for you, E. Diet weed, motherfucker. Cause you can't smoke as much as I do as you do. Diet you got diet weed, motherfucker. Man, just let me live forever and you live like you live. Shit. <laughs> That's crazy, man. We up out of here, man. We'll see y'all again next week, man. Thank y'all for fucking coming through and fucking with us.
Good. Now the lag want to stop. <laughs> the lag want to stop soon the show over with. I hate this show, man. I used to let the terror out of there real quick. <laughs> right, you know I got two of them, man. I got, she wasn't here tonight. Right. Boom, had a pop. I hate this show, man. Not my shit ain't lagging, man. I tell you, man. I hate this shit. I hate this shit. I hate man, this it's shit. YouTube, yo. You two do not want me to succeed, man. Overtime. Since we back. Y'all back? Y'all wanna be back? I'm trying to go eat this pork chop. Man, we eating pork chop. I gotta man. work in the morning. I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow. Really Fuck y'all. We out of here, man. I hate this show. I mean, we love y'all and everything. I love you. Kill Dozer. What up, Dozer? Goodbye, Dozer. Texas girl, you have a good Texas week. girl, everybody, thank man. You thank you for joining us. Escalade. I, everybody, man, I hate this show, man. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Next week. We in this bit. We yeah, out. We're gonna be like, so honestly, lit. I just want to go eat a pork chop. You just want to eat a pork chop. Hey. I got to go find me something to eat too before I crash. Fuck y'all, man. I'm out. Make it in here.